Hi there, sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know why the music um, wasn't playing. That's really bizarre. Maybe it actually will be on the archive. Who knows? <laughs> that says, any advice for starting the stream? Don't be rad for downed. Yeah, that is exactly... Um, that's all you need, kids. Just remember that. If you're just not me, then everything else is fine. So anyway, yeah, um, so I kind of typed this out in the description already, but I feel the need to reiterate it. Um, basically, uh, the other day, um, okay, I, l let me preface this a little bit. I actually really like Unity. Um, I think it's a really nice game engine. I use it for a lot of things. Um, but the other day, I was using Unity for something, and I realized, um, it, it's, it's, it's a pretty good engine, all things considered. It's actually pretty nice. Um, but there is one big problem with it, and that is that it's, it's clearly more designer-focused than developer-focused in a lot of areas. Um, which is fine, but the thing is, like, okay, th th there's some features in Unity that I am missing. Um, things like editing low-level API stuff, right? You know, like, actually being able to have control over how Unity spawns objects and things. Um, I can't really think of much else. Oh, well... Uh, the, the, the big one, obviously. Um, the fact that Unity is freaking... It's running on the .NET um, framework 3.5. Um, or, or rather, a mono... Um, okay, so I'm sorry. I'm I'm scatterbrained tonight. Uh, it's running on an equivalent uh, mono version, basically, of the .NET framework 3.5. Which, for those of you who don't know, is a framework that released in 2007. Like, just stop and think about that. The .NET framework 3.5 released in November of 2007. So, it is essentially using an equivalent of a 10-year-old framework. Um, yeah, it's missing a lot of features. Um, there's a ton of things um, that I love about the, the new version of the .NET framework and um, C Sharp 7 and everything. Uh, I'm absolutely obsessed with, like, I love the methods within methods and things like that. Um, but I can't use them in Unity code because Unity doesn't support that. Um, so, uh, recently, here, let me actually... Um, switch screens here. Uh, apologies for the awful banner. <laughs> I was like, what What the heck What the heck do you do for, like, a stream about, a, about trying out a game engine? Like, this is kind of a unique stream. Um, so, yeah. Um, and also, I'm sorry, chat, I'll actually read you in a second. <laughs> um, anyway, so, okay, um, where even was I? Oh, yeah, okay, so, um... The other day, uh, I don't know how many of you have even seen this, I have a repository called Hedgelib um, that I've been working on since about January, I believe. Um, it's basically a bunch of tools that um, makes modding Sonic games easier. So things like um, classes for editing formats from Sonic Generations and Lost World and Colors and Unleashed and all those games. Um, it's not finished by any means, but this is, you know, it, it, this is the stuff it currently supports. Um, I, I can fit it all on the screen, so that's how you know it isn't finished. Um, that's the entire main feature list at the moment, but um, it's still coming on pretty nicely, I, I, I believe, for something that I'm doing in my spare time. Point is, um, I'm essentially making sort of like my own version of Sonic G Level, but with support for more than just generations, called Hedge Edit. And I figured the best choice I really... Okay, well, rather, okay, not the best choice. I figured um, I should probably use Unity for it because I was used to Unity. You know, I still am, of course. Um, and, you know, Unity lets me write in C Sharp, which is my favorite programming language, and it's what Hedgelib itself is written in. So I went, that'll be a perfect fit. So I wrote HedgeEdit in Unity. It's not done by any means. It's still gi uh, a giant work in progress. But, um, yeah, the, the, the point I'm trying to make, I'm sorry, I'm going over the place here, is it's starting to come along pretty nicely, but... At some point, um, I realized there's a bunch of things I would love to do with Hedge Edit that I simply cannot, to the point where it's actually holding back the entire project just because of, of Unity limits. Um, the biggest thing is, again, that, that dang, um, like, framework version. My gosh! Uh, Hedgelib, um, being a library, of course, um, that... I want to actually use in Hedge Edit. Um, it needs to be compi Okay, it needs to be compiled with the .NET Framework version 3.5 in order for Unity to accept it. If it's anything above that, Unity doesn't support it because it doesn't support that version of the .NET Framework, right? So, 
I have to purposely use a 10-year-old framework for this entire library just so that one tool that uses the library uh, library, I don't, I'm not, I'm not enunciating my R's correctly either. G good job, Rad. Um, can, you know, can, can use it properly. So, it's really holding me back. Uh, point being, the other day, I was, um, thinking about this. I'm going, how can I fix this, right? Because I, I, I don't, I really don't want to wait for Unity to just finally get their act together and, you know, support the newest .NET framework. So, I did some research and I found this engine called Exen, uh, sorry, Exenco, I can't speak. Um, it's fairly new, actually. From what I understand, it it first kind of became a thing in 2014, when it was called Paradox Game Engine, I believe. Um, and just now, they've actually released... They, it's gone out of beta now, um, to the point where it's actually, like, a full-fledged engine you can get. They actually have a uh, pro version as well that you can pay for, but because it's so new, um, they have a deal going on at the moment where, until I believe it's July 31st, um, you can actually get it for free. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> it didn't, that didn't happen to me before. Um, yeah, here. They have a, here, July 31st, um, 2017. Up until that point, you can get the pro version for free. That's pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Um, when you actually look at the feature set, it looks, um, it's very similar to Unity. The main thing, the main reason you want the pro version instead of, um, personal is just because you have the custom splash screen. So same thing as Unity, um, honestly. It's it's enticing, to say the least. Um, so I'm very curious to try this out. I'll stop blabbing for now, at least. I'm sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> let me actually check the chat. There's actually a lot of you here. I'm kind of surprised. Thank you all for coming to this. I know this is kind of a different stream. How you doing? Uh, wow. <laughs> Supersonic 16, Death, uh, Taz, Ratchet2497, uh, Sajid, of course. Geki, and Nadine Wally. How you guys all doing? Rad, t talk about your idea on forces. No one cares about your game engines. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jeff. I don't mean to disappoint, senpai. <laughs> it costs 75 bucks, and you get a splash screen. Oh, you haven't seen Unity. Hang on. Um, Unity is amazing. <laughs> it actually is pretty nice, but look at this. For $35 per person per month, you get, if you actually compare them, the only thing I care about is the splash screen. Uh, w what else do you get? Let's see. Um, oh, you get some Aset kits. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I don't really care, but... <laughs> so, like, some extra things that you don't have to program yourself. Okay, that's cool. Um, oh, you get oh you get a freaking dark skin. I'm not even joking. You can make Unity look... look like you know, black instead of white, so it doesn't blind your eyes. I know there's going to be racist jokes in the chat now, Frick. <laughs> Flexible seat management. What is that even? Oh, you get to choose who uses Unity, like, professionally. That's... I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... Um... Oh, you get, you get tutorials. Y you know how else you can get those? Like that. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's not- I'm not saying it's a bad deal or anything, it's just- why- the only thing I care about is you get to remove the splash screen. So, okay. Um, here you actually- that's still the main- the only thing I really care about, but there's actually some other things that look kind of nice. That editor source code, uh, that is very enticing. Um, though actually I don't think you get that with- yeah, you don't get that with Pro. So, okay. <laughs> still, though, that's a nice thing, but that's on the list. Um, it's actually, uh, you know what? Hang on. No, not Hustle. We're not gonna show that one off today. I've leaked things before, but we're not leaking that one. Um. I'm sorry. I thought it would pop up. There we go. They actually have... Oh, they moved. Right. Um. They actually have a... You can actually download the source to the runtime. They have a, it all on their repository for free. So that is very nice. Unity is, you know, not open source in the slightest. So that's interesting, to say the least. Um, I'm very curious to poke around at this a little bit and see what can be done with it. But anyway, I'll stop blabbing for now. Um, yeah, so let's open this thing up. So, uh, disclaimer, uh, I have not actually tried this out other than, um, like, a quick test I did here, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> I poked around at some buttons in the editor, and I did a lot of research on it, but I haven't actually tried it yet, so that's why I figured 
Um, this stream might be kind of fun. I don't know, maybe not. I love how you're just PC, mobile, Xbox One. We don't care about you, PS4. Stay in the corner, you frick. <laughs> um, yeah, it... Actually, um... Oh, wow, you're right. I didn't even notice that. I think PS4 is on their list of consoles that's coming soon. This engine is new, man. Like, this... This... Uh, this is only, like, what? Three years old at this point? Not even three. So, that's... It's fresh out of the box, basically. Um, so it's gonna be—it's missing a lot of features uh, that Unity has. So this is gonna be okay. I, I can't help myself. I'm gonna have to compare this to Unity a little bit, but um, because you know, it's like that's what most people, developers are gonna be doing, right? Who come in contact with this, they're gonna think, well, should I use this or Unity? And they're gonna compare it. Um, but I'm gonna try not to, if I can help it, uh, even though that's probably not gonna be the case, because um, I don't think it's fair to yet, since this has only been out for about three years now. Um, they do have a roadmap um, of features that they're going to have, which is nice, except for the fact that when you look at it, you just go, oh gosh, they, they really, it's really new. Like, they're missing a lot of things. Um, if you actually scroll here, um, yeah, PS4 support is a big one. Uh, Mac game support. Oh yeah, they don't, it, doesn't, it isn't on Mac yet, I forgot about that. There's no, okay, terrain support. That's not as bad as it sounds. Um, what they mean is it doesn't have like a Unity terrain brush thing you can't like draw it but you can of course have like you know levels with terrain in them uh this one's a huge one i can't believe that isn't there yet so it's it's it, this one is as well it's still new um so i'm gonna get you know take it with a grain of salt i'm gonna see what it's like it might turn out to be pretty nice in the end but at the moment it is definitely a work in progress i'm just gonna i'm just giving my initial impressions out and i'm just gonna try to be fair as fair as i can um see how it turns out okay i'm sorry i thought that was the button too Oh, this is, okay, this is help. So how do you, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, wow, I'm an idiot. Wh where even is the option to, I I thought it was right. I guess you just start it first. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm being really stupid. I forgot what I did before. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's like Unreal Engine 4, actually. That's kind of nice. And I'm just going to make a new game. Um, Exenco Impressions. We'll go with that. Um, yeah, so... It actually supports. I don't. I don't. I don't think it supports. Um, uh, actually, I'm being stupid. I'm sorry. I was gonna say DirectX 12, but Direct 3D and DirectX are slightly different things, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna say Windows and Linux. Um, I don't. I. You can do Android and iOS as well, actually, and the universal Windows platform. Though no one really cares about that. I don't think. Um, so, actually, actually, that is pretty nice for Xbox One development, but. Um, I don't have the Android SDK installed apparently, so we'll just, we'll just do this. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna check some assets because you can do that. Sounds good. Apologies if you can hear that rain in the background. It's been storming randomly all day. Oh, I'm sorry, Twitch chat. How are you guys doing? We, we have, we have a tweet here. Oh. Mm-hmm. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Um, hmm. Stream Overwatch. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not that it's free weekend yet, Orange. I can't. Universal Windows platform is the worst. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's unique, to say the least. Um, I see what they were thinking with it. Oh, that opened quicker than I thought. Uh, I, I see what they were thinking with it, but... It, it needs some work. Um, oh, frick. <laughs> Not that one. Twitter. Um, just be happy I didn't open the weather app, because that could have been bad. Like, it's okay. I guess. I forgot this was a thing. That's beautiful. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, why use apps like this when you can just go to the website and... Anyway. Um, that's not, that's, that's, that's not, that's not, uh, that's outside the scope of this video, but. Alright, so first things first, this is a really stupid, like, comment to make, but these folders are giant. Um, I found that when I played around with it a little earlier, you can actually hold control and scroll with the mouse wheel to zoom, as you might expect, if you've ever, you know, used Windows. So, that's nice, I appreciate that, I'm glad you can do that. Uh, I really haven't experimented with this, so I'm just gonna play with some stuff and see what happens. Um, hopefully it won't be too boring. Uh, I'm actually very interested to see how this turns out. Uh, so let's start off by 
I guess just running this and seeing what happens. What the heck? <laughs> that good 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 job, Death. <laughs> you, you um you just you just wanted to stop by in the SAR account. Eleven out of ten. You see that June sixth? What? Uh I'm not even sure what you're talking about, I'm sorry. Guys, I got version 6.6.6. Sanic.mpeg confirms. Oh, man. I am hype. Did it, uh, did it run? Oh, there it is. Alright, let's see if this is any good. Um, just the runtime part. I haven't even seen the splash screen that it shows when you start it. Oh, it didn't show one. Maybe it's because, oh, you know what? It's probably because, um, okay, one of two things. Either one, because I'm debugging, or two, because, uh, they have that deal going on where you can get pro for certain amount of time. I don't think I, like, you know, accepted that, though, so I think it's probably just because I'm debugging. Um, hmm. It seems to be, it's not, like, skipping, but it's, like, very, it's, like, hard to move the camera. It looks like it's lagging, but it's just, it's not. It's just that, for some reason, the camera's getting stuck. That's quite odd. Also, the resolution is really weird. Um, I thought it would open in a full-screen window or in, like, a smaller window than this. Um, so that's... Minor complaint, but that's a little frustrating. Um, visually, it looks kind of nice. Uh, I like, um, when you look at, at stuff in the editor, it looks pretty nice. Um, it's really interesting, actually, this engine so far. It's giving me, like, it feels like if, if you took Unity and Unreal Engine 4 and you mashed them together. Like, it's got the editor stuff of Unreal Engine 4 and the engine stuff of Unity. But with a more developer focus. So that's, that's interesting. I'm curious to see, um, where this goes. Let's see, if I just build this, let's see how long it takes. Alright, not, no, okay, it's it's still going. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of hard for me to see it because uh, my mic is in the way. My setup's odd. Alright, that was like, what, maybe, I wasn't really keeping count, actually, was it like 10 seconds, maybe? Not terrible, but it could be better. Um, because, you know, like, uh, again, comparing it to Unity, that compile is in, like, a second, so... You know, considering this is a blank project, that's interesting. Um, let's see, uh... Okay, the project structure is interesting. It seems like everything that's here is... Oh, okay, yeah, it, it's here as well, so you can actually... It doesn't seem like they're doing any hiding of stuff. Like, um... Most things that are in this folder you're gonna find here as well, so that's, that's nice. Um, I kinda like that. Except, of course, they hide, like, the catch folder, because that's just... Why would you want to browse that in there? <laughs> Let's see. Whoa, jeez. Alright, I'm hoping that's just because this is a debug build. Um, That is a lot of dependencies and things. Good grief, how big is that? 55 megabytes. Eh. Oh, I, I really hope that isn't the case for, like, a released project, because that's... That's pretty, uh, bulky to distribute something like this. Um, let's run this, though. Is this just the same as what I did when I debugged it? Or is this, like, a slightly different... Oh, there it is. Okay. It takes a second to start, but that's not too bad. Yeah, it's the same. Alright. Uh, now I'm curious. I, I want to see if this fixes it. I noticed the scale's a little off. I wonder if I activate my... Uh, sorry, if I check that setting... Sometimes the DPI screws with things on Windows, so I'm wondering if that will fix it. Ah, it did! Oh, and it made it smoother, too! Would you look at that? Okay, so apparently... Weird! Alright, so it's got some odd DPI bugs. But, ooh, this is very nice. Um, compared to, uh... Uh, sorry, before, at least. <laughs> Alright, this could be okay. Um, I really don't like that there's this many files, though. Uh, I, I doubt it actually needs all that. Let me see if I can try to build a release copy. Um, uh, let's see. Start project. Yeah, build project. Hmm. Is there really no other... You know, oh, open an IDE. Let's do, let's open it in Visual Studio. Um, yes. I would actually... No, let's do the version selector, because that can be handy for when you double-click a solution file. I can actually pick what... Uh, version to open it in. I probably need some music in the background of this. I just realized it's really uh, <laughs> awkward with no music in the background. You want Pepsi Man as a playable character? Oh, who doesn't, man? I, I would be hyped. 
I has got a Windows 6.6.6 .6 on my on my iPod 66. Good, good job, Flutter. I I don't know how you managed to get Windows on an iPod, but that's impressive. That's that's really good. That's, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, guys, here's an SAR leak. Ready? After beating Perfect Chaos boss fight, you unlock Pepsi Man. Oh no, Derek, you spoiled the the best part of SAR. What are we gonna do now? What reveals can we possibly make? Yeah, let's get some music. <laughs> you know what? Uh, let's use this. Oh, no. No need to show everything. Um, let's just let's pick an OST. Ah, frick. Because Sonic stuff isn't really... YouTube, Sega's cool, and they don't give you copyright claims for that. So that's nice. Let's go with Sonic Rush Adventure, because why not? Wait, wait, no, no. All right. Oh wow, it's not actually playing. Hang on. Jeez, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry that was really loud. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Alright, tell me if it's too loud or, or, or quiet. Uh, let me turn it down for me too. Alright, there we go. Turn it up a little here. It should be, it should be alright now, but let me know. Uh, it might not be. Yeah, we're back to music, yeah, because it's awkward if it's just me. Alright, so I heard you can compile this straight from Visual Studio. Is that true? Let's see. Let's make a release version. Oh yeah, I still have this stuff open. Alright. If I compile it as a release version and it has all those dependencies, I'm not gonna like that. Uh, it's not the end of the world, it's just I would... I mean, Unity has that much stuff too, I'm sure, but it puts it in a folder at least to make it look a little cleaner. Um, that just looks messy. Let's see. Alright, that built pretty quickly. That was only three seconds, jeez. Alright, so maybe it gets quicker after the first time. Yeah, it is uh, a lot of dependencies. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but... Oh, alright. Um, you know what? That's, that's, that's just one thing, right? Like, if the engine overall is still really nice then who freaking cares? It's just something I'm not a big fan of. Um, you might be able to cut down some of these in other ways too, I wonder. Uh, like, okay, does it really need, um, whatever, uh, the, the HTTP, um, class library if I'm not using any networking in my program? Like, there's gotta be a way to disable things that aren't needed. Uh, there probably is if I look in Project Settings or something. If not, that's, that's, it's not a big deal, honestly. Let's see. Uh, okay, I'm not even sure what that... Oh, you can have another computer compile those for you. That's cool. Alright. Um... Oh, okay, you can actually add, like, other projects. That's cool. Alright, I should actually try and program something. <laughs> um... Persona 5 OST win. Why not now? I'm just kidding, but... I nearly got a heart attack. You made me jump from my chair, guys. I'm I'm so sorry about that. Uh, jeez, I didn't I didn't know it was gonna be that loud. Uh, I might actually edit that out of the archive. I I I sincerely apologize for that. I um didn't expect that to happen. I, that was really unprofessional. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, okay. So let's let's try and figure out what all this stuff is. So okay, import less. Oh, I probably should not have done that. What does that even say? Okay, compile remotely. Huh. Okay. Why were there 20? I didn't even compile anything. Maybe they mean, like, another directory or something? Um, honestly, I should probably be reading the documentation for this. Oh, okay, that's... That's nice that they have a button for that. You can actually choose if you want to update it or not. Uh, oh, view options. Can I please have it as, um... Uh, like, a list view. Oh, okay. Nice. That's not bad. Okay, I kind of like that, actually. I've, al I've always thought the list view was so much better for viewing files, unless they're images. Like, that's the only exception. Um, so I kind of hate when, like, you know, programs have, like, an asset view where they don't let you have a list view. So that's nice that they do have a list view. Um, you do have to go out of your way to check it, but who cares? Uh, okay, they have a solution explorer as well. I'm not quite sure of the structure of this. It's a little odd. Um, 
Oh, okay. So all of your scripts go here. Right, because this is like a, your namespace. Okay. And then this is where your assets go. So they nicely separated those. Whereas in Unity, what you have is, um... You have scripts and your, um... Uh, other assets all jumbled up into one. Which actually... I, I make it sound bad, but actually it's kind of nice because you have some freedom. Um, but it is it is also nice to have them separate. So, I don't know. There's pros and cons to both. How you doing, Ghost? You want to see paint 3D impressions? Oh, you've come to the right place. Oh, frick. Frick. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I did not... <sighs> I, when is 10, man? You have come to the right place. Aren't you excited? This is the most revolutionary tool in existence. Who needs a game engine when you can be using this? Let's make a whale. Oh, don't worry, I will actually go back to Xenkoa. Look, mm, yeah, look at this. Look at the, look at this quality. This is how I make all my models for every game. Yeah, 100% tr true. It's it's factual. Look at that. Yeah, he's really sad. Um, mm -hmm. and you you can get this amazing. Oh, oh, wait, no, we're not in the right font. There we go. Oh, hang on, we forgot to... Wow, what is, what is it doing? It's not Comic Sans, though. It's, it's inferior. Why is it, why is it not Comic Sans? They couldn't even get that right. Okay, well... Whatever, we'll pretend it's Comic Sans in our hearts. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. My streams are weird. Uh, so, okay, oh, so it gave us some, because I checked, uh, have animated models and things, it gave us some sample sets. That's nice. So, let me see. Oh, okay. Cannot add it into a root level. So that's an animation, then. So if I just add a model, can I? Okay, wait, let's see. There's a table. Uh, Alright, it's not letting me drag that in, but there we go. That was weird. Um, hmm, why is it not letting me, oh, oh, there it goes, okay, it was just lagging, that's, eh, alright, uh, hopefully it won't continue to do that. Ooh, okay, there are real-time shadows, that's nice, I don't know how I didn't notice that until now. How do materials look? No, oh, they're not bad. Oh, that actually looks pretty nice. That's a nice wood texture. Alright, ooh. Ooh, that looks really nice. They're actually, it looks like they're actually physically based. Ooh, that's almost, that's almost better than like Unity's default shaders. That could be used to make some really nice looking effects. All right, that's, visually it, it does, uh, it plays the part, I guess. I, I'm not sure about like how to word that. Oh, it would definitely look good with metal. Let's try that. Yeah, it, it does seem to lag when you import models. Oh, it actually tells you on the bottom right that it's building effects, okay. Uh, might want to. They might need to uh, look into improving how that's threaded, because that uh, does seem to lag down the editor a bit. Is there a uniform scaling? Yes, there is. Or at least, oh no, that's there's a snapping. Okay, option, but there doesn't seem to be uniform scaling. Odd. Um. All right. Well, it's not that big of a deal because oh, I made a duplicate with control. Whoa. Okay, hang on. I gotta try that in a second. But um. Yes, sorry. Uh, yeah, let's... So, it's not that big of a deal because you can just edit the fields manually. But, yeah. Okay, it's a little awkward to place objects. I can't really describe it better than that. Um, the controls of the viewport are actually the same as Unity, down to, um... You hold down Shift to move... Uh, sorry, to, to move faster. You use WASD to move... It's the same viewport controls. I, I wouldn't be surprised if F um, focuses on objects either. Yeah, it does. Wow, okay. So they straight up copied Unity's viewport controls. I'm not faulting them for that. That's that's fine, but um, that's that's a little funny, actually. Okay, so... Yeah, but it is a little odd to place things. I, I really can't describe it other than that. It feels... Hmm, like, look at this. Like, maybe, maybe it's just me, but I thought that that was gonna go on the table there. It's like, it's like my depth perception must be off or something. Wait, that's really not on the... Oh, that's way beyond the table. Hmm. Odd. Yeah, I, I'm having a tough time, like, getting a, a, um, a sense of where the objects are in the world. 
Uh, I, I, I know that might sound stupid, but yeah, that's, that's something that's a little bit annoying. Ooh, okay, you can... Ooh, nice. All right, you have full control over the light probes. That's nice. Um... All right. Yeah, I don't have any navigation meshes, but you have control over that as well. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, just like with Unity. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to keep comparing it to that because, it, you know, it's clearly trying to be it. Um, you can uh, check and uncheck what things are enabled. So you can have audio playing in your sing view or not. Oh, you can make it... Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, you can have orthographic view too. That's a little odd that they use checkboxes for that. It probably should be radio buttons or something. Because um, it makes it look like you can have both checked at once. Uh, minor issue, but... Oh, you can tweak the speed of the camera. That is really nice. Because in Unity, um, you can't do that. So with this, I can go crazy fast. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Um, or really slow if I need to get really precise. So that's very much appreciated. That's a minor detail, but that helps a lot. The other stuff looks kind of alright right now. Uh, oh, okay, so you, that's how you switch to game preview. And it does take a second to build the effects, it looks like. It's still building that table. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded that sounded kind of funny to me. I, I pictured some guy manually assembling the table. <clears throat> anyway, the best part of Exe Exenco is that it has a dark theme. That's true, I didn't even, I didn't even, um, like, think about mentioning that. In Unity, you have to freaking pay for the dark theme, which is hilarious, but, um... Yeah, here it's built in, so that's appreciated. Uh, I know it sounds... It's really funny. To anyone who hasn't programmed, it's like, who cares, right? It just looks nicer. Or to some people, it even looks objectively worse. Like, if you look at Dark Mode Calculator, it's kind of ugly. I'm not going to lie. Um, but to a programmer, you know 100% why we love Dark Mode so much. Picture this at 3 in the morning. <laughs> Your eyes die. It's so bad. Um, so we have to get plugins like this to keep our to keep ourselves alive. Um, we're an endangered race, us programmers. <laughs> uh, dark themes keep us alive. So when you have to switch over to Unity and then it's like blindingly bright, it's like oh gosh, you know. So <laughs> yeah, um, it helps to have a dark theme. Thanks, Rad. I had a stream on full screen, and it's nearly 3 a.m. Why is our dead now? <laughs> Sorry, man. What? The dark calculator is much better. Well, actually, you know, the calculator- actually, the calculator I've, I've grown kind of fond of. I like the way the calculator looks, um, now. I didn't- at first I thought it was ugly, I'm not gonna lie, but now I actually kind of like its design. Um, uh, but settings? Eh. I, I- I think this looks pretty ugly in dark mode, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why. Uh, it just- yeah. Uh, it's something about the way that the colors don't just look dark, they look inverted. But who cares? It's so much better than opening this up at, you know, 3 a.m. and just losing your eyesight. Like, jeez. Um, and the fact that... Okay, Windows? Okay. There's one version to upgrade to, uh, to Windows 10's Creators Update. Right now, there is only one version. Uh, sorry, one reason. I can't speak. <laughs> uh, this this freaking feature, Nightlight. I don't know if it even... Yeah, uh, I don't know if it's even showing this on the stream. Um, but when you turn this on... It uh, reduces all the blue light and the colors, and oh my gosh, it's so helpful! Like you have no idea. Um, I love that feature. Anyway, I'm getting off. On, I'm going off on a tangent now. Sorry about that. But <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Also, dark themes are good, but the banner's main color is white. Let's fix that. It is an ugly banner after all, but we can we can improve it. <laughs> <laughs> Drastically improved. <laughs> yeah, um, it looks even worse now, so you're welcome. But actually, it's it's somehow less uh, jarring to my eyes. Anyway, the setting needs to be gray, not black. Yeah, it looks really, it looks kind of bad like that. <laughs> 10 out of 10, nailed it, yeah. Thanks, man. I, I, I try, I aim to please. Yeah, so this really is Unreal Engine 4 and um, Unity combined into one. It's really interesting, actually. What's really bizarre about it, well, not bizarre, but um, actually interesting, is that it has things that I like from both engines. I'm not even joking. Um, I, lo I love that Unity is C-sharp based, like, primarily. Um, okay, well, we, okay, literally word that. That it lets you program in C-sharp, primarily. Um, you can also use other languages like JavaScript and stuff, but it's it's 
kind of focused around you using C Sharp. Um, and I love a lot of um, like features that it has, um, you know. Uh, but <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't think tonight. But uh, with Unreal Engine 4, I really like its editor design and um, some of the features it has. So it seems like it has the best of both worlds so far. Um, I'm kind of liking it. I haven't tried actually programming something yet, though, so we'll see if it holds up. Um, the one complaint I have at the moment, the one big one, is I'm sorry about this. There's way too many dependencies. Like, I'm sorry. That just looks so ugly to me. Like, try, okay, like, um, if you just have it, like, okay, like a game that you distribute on Steam. Where someone can just right-click and then choose the name of the game, and then it starts, right? Um, that's fine, because they're not even going to go into the folder anyway. And so that's what I'm sure it's kind of designed around. Like, you know, it's meant it's a game engine. It's meant for making games. But let's say you're making a tool with this, like what I'm probably going to be trying to do. Or um, you're, you know, um, wanting to make a game that's highly moddable, where people can easily edit the files. You have to, you know have people go into this folder and scroll through all this stuff and try to find, like, 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 like try to find the executable in this um, without knowing where it is when I'm scrolling quickly. Like, it's it's hard to tell, uh, whereas with Unity, uh, let me find a Unity project that is, like, okay to show. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of, like, private stuff I'm not allowed to show yet. Uh, that sounds bad. I mean, like, um, I'm not able to, like, reveal it yet because it's not made, ready for public stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's just find some frickin' stupid- Oh, we don't- he Hedge Edit. Sure. That's on GitHub. That's the entire point of this. Let's go with Hedge Edit. With this, this is it. Um, well, actually, okay, actually, by default, those selected files are it. Um, I added that stuff. <laughs> um, the- by default, Unity just has an exe and then a folder that has all their other stuff in it. Oh, what happened to my music? It just stopped. Is it still playing on the stream? Because it just... Oh, okay. What the heck? Pardon me for a second. I don't know what I'm... Alright, my headphones died. Sorry about that, I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, it did it again. Alright, I swear, um, if you do that one more time, PC, you're in trouble. Alright, seems to be good. If not, I'll just go without music. Why, why are we letting you program a game? Because, uh, people without minds need to be able to program too, dang it. Sorry. Alright, so let's actually try to make something. So let's just take this coin. Let's just make it so you can move the coin. I don't freaking... Let's just see. Um, so I actually, they actually wrote a guide. They're really being competitive with this thing. Um, they have a guide here called Exemco for Unity Developers. Um... And it's a pretty long page, it looks like. Oh, I'm sorry, by the way, for everyone's eyes. Hopefully that'll help. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh... Yeah, let's, um... I'm, g I'm, I'm probably gonna reference this a lot. I wanna see what it's like. Um, but I, get, I bet you guys forgot I existed. Well, I did, but... Anyway, how you doing, man? <laughs> oh, now you retweeted it to me. Um... Thanks. <laughs> oh, now I get it. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this is kind of all over the place. Alright, so let's see. Wow, when they showed them back to back, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, when I scrolled through it quickly, I almost... I almost, like, didn't even notice that the first one was Unity. <laughs> uh, dang, that was... That's a little embarrassing to say, actually, but... Um... Yeah, so it's kind of like the Unreal Engine 4 documentation where they have a similar page. Uh, here, let me turn this down a little bit for me, because it's kind of distracting. Uh, yeah. It's kind of like the Unreal Engine 4 documentation where they have a guide for migrating to it from Unity. Um, very similar to this. It's, uh, yeah, um, I mean... I didn't really need a guide on the UI, actually, but that's pleasant. That's nice that they have it. Oh, you can drag tabs, really? You can really do that. Oh, you can! Ooh, that's... That's nice. I didn't even notice. I'm sorry, I'm being stupid here. Oh, wow, it is like Visual Studio. They weren't kidding. Alright, I really like that. Um, I really like that you can customize that. Because that's something I always I always appreciated in Visual Studio. Wow, okay. Um, 
So I can pin this somewhere else if I don't want it on the screen all the time. That's handy. Uh, so like, let's let's hide this. Wow, nice. Okay. Oh, uh, this is a little odd looking, but yeah, you could fix that easily. All right. So it's not. I mean, I wouldn't say that the editor is like gold, but it 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 looks pretty promising. I'm uh, not gonna lie. So let's get into the engine. That's the part I'm really curious about because, being honest here, um. I'm not going to spend most of my time in the uh, editor, or at least ideally I would like not to. Um, so, yeah, let's see uh, what the engine's like. Oh, alright. So right off the bat, one thing I'm really appreciative of is uh, in Unity, um, it makes a solution file for you, but it's kind of just there so that you can um, use, it, use Visual Studio a little bit easier. It really doesn't have any other purpose. In fact, it's a temporary solution file. It will it will delete the file gladly and remake it at random whenever it feels it needs to uh, change something. Uh, in fact, there's an option to do that. So it, yeah, it's kind of it's it's integrated with Visual Studio a little poorly. Um, yeah, uh, IntelliSense definitely does not work in. Um, well, okay, wait, let me rephrase that. It does, but um, it doesn't. It isn't documented very well. Um, there's a lot of functions you'll type the name of, and it doesn't give you any description of what they do. So you just have to go to the Unity docs, um, which is not a big deal, but it's a little annoying sometimes. Um, and yeah, it could be a little better. So one thing I'm really liking with this is that right off the bat, it it appears to actually be um, designed with developers in mind. Like I had stated at the beginning and in the description, actually, um, it actually is a solution file that you can like share. And uh, all the all the files are here, rather than having to open up the Unity Project Explorer and use this thing, um, or go through three versions of the exact same um, so solution. Okay, that's, I'm sorry, it's the same project. Rad, shut up and look at the trailer. Ah, what what are you talking about? Forces. Oh, jeez. Why? YouTube. Why? I thought I had it. I I had this on the whitelist. Because I have a, my own plugin for this. <laughs> I'm sad. Oh, jeez. Thanks for the Rick Astley. Thanks for the Rick roll, uh, ghost. I appreciate it. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. No! I don't need the copyright claims! <laughs> There's no escape. Um, wow. I, um, accidentally clicked on the link somehow. Good. Now my chat screwed up. All right, whatever. No big deal. We'll just... <laughs> you did this. All of you did this. All right, there it goes. Good grief. Hang on. It's streaming in the. Okay, it's streaming in the chat right now, bit by bit. Okay, here we go. Does Xenco add filters? Uh, you mean? I'm sorry. Uh, to your solution. It probably does. I'm not sure. Whoa, that is a lot of references. That's nice, though. So it's 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 actually sort of designed like um, y you guys know model game or XNA? Um, pretty much the same thing. Um, it's designed kind of like that actually, where uh you can pr y like your code project is it. That's the entire thing. And what I'm really liking is you can actually build, and it, and it appears you can even debug from Visual Studio. So if you don't want to, you don't have to use the editor at all. Um, other than, I guess, placing objects in the scenes, which you might be able to do through code. Uh, well, I'm sure you are, but l l let's see. Can you really debug it from Visual Studio? Because that is one thing I, I really wanted um, Unity to have, and it really let me down in terms of like its debugging experience. Or rather, it's Visual Studio debugging experience. Um, you can debug it very nicely from within the Unity editor, but you have to alt-tab between them constantly, and it's a little annoying. Not a big deal again, but... This is mostly nitpicks. Unity is really a, a really solid engine overall. I'm just pointing out things that um, do irritate me somewhat. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you can debug it straight from within Visual Studio. Um... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. It's Again, it's hard for uh, my, my microphone. It's hard to visualize, but because of my kind of strange setup, my microphone is covering up, like, um, a, a decent portion of the... Let's see, from here, if you can see my cursor, to about... 
there of of my screen. I can't really see very well there. So, <laughs> yeah, I have to kind of lean around and go like, derp, try and see what's behind it. Um, wow, you can debug straight from Visual Studio. That is really appreciated. And it updated uh, my changes when I added the coin, too. That looks nice visually. Wow, look at that wood texture. That's, that's pretty nice looking. Uh, I'm not going to lie. All right, I'm, I'm liking that. Rip Rad Expose. Anyone who doesn't know Rad's name, look on the top right corner of Visual Studio. Or or any time when I open up the start menu. Oh, actually, they, they fixed that. Well, it used to be there. There you go. My name! Oh no, it's public. What will I do? Frick. Rad, there's a new Sonic Forces trailer. Watch. Wait, is there really? I saw the OC one. Is No, you're tricking me. <laughs> you are 100% tricking me. But, alright, let's see what it is that you're actually linking me. I can't believe I even questioned that. Yeah, is it Rick Astley? Oh, it's 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 Sonic and the Secret Rings gameplay. Th thank you, I, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> um, why did... Hang on. Oh, I know what happened. Hang on, I, I get it. I'm sorry. I had this set up before I reinstalled Windows, but... Uh, wow, where is... There, okay. Um, YouTube.com. Use click plus? Yes. Please, I want the- I, I don't want you to invert the colors of that, like, jeez. It's actually making it brighter. Dang it, Red. Why would you ever listen to Thomas? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I've learned my, my, my lesson. It's because it doesn't think it's URL, isn't it? Look, please. Thank you. Jeez. Alright. Let's see. Yes. Wonderful. Alright, that's so much better. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> Back on track. Alright, let's actually try and program something with this. So let's see. So how does this work? Um, I'm assuming you have um, just scripts that you can attach to things. Yeah, they actually included one. Ooh, wow. That is quite a large sample. All right, let's see if uh, all right, let's see if I can get a basic idea of this. Okay, wow, it's extremely similar to Unity. Good grief! For a second, I thought I was looking at like at Unity Source. Like, like seriously, Vector Threes. We have well, Vector Twos, of course. Um, Unity, guys, it's been exposed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, this is a terrible joke. I know. It's Unity, guys. <laughs> I know it's unit Y, but that's hilarious. Uh, okay. A senpai never notices you. Oh. Geki. Against all odds, you have been noticed. Congratulations. Um, alright, there's- Ooh, whoa, really? Hang on, it's this easy to check what pl You've gotta be kidding me. That's nice. I like that. Are there, um, uh, like- I'm sorry, uh, compile constants, I believe they're called? Though, like, in Unity? Like, um, if... What is it? Uh, like, Windows. <laughs> I can't even... Oh, you could, um, probably say that. Yeah, hang on, let me see. Um, whatever. Uh, frickin', who cares? Uh, do a thing. Yeah, um, I'm sure there are, but it probably isn't, um, yeah. Alright, l let me check, actually. Um, I should probably check the documentation for that later. Um, Alright, let's see this. Uh, the input stuff. I'm curious about this. Okay, that's exactly like Unity. That's insane. So wait, you can literally just do this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> um... Hmm, that's actually a little bit, uh, how do I word this? They might need to be a little careful about not copying Unity too much, because that's, that's really similar to Unity, guys. <laughs> um, just saying. Mono has Microsoft at XNA, oh, Mono game, yeah. Yeah, I know, um, I, I use Mono, I, uh, 
Sorry, I can't speak. I used to use model game all the time. It's a really nice uh, framework. What if Xenko is just better than Unity? Well, I I doubt as a whole it is because it's only been around for a couple years, but I'm curious to see. Um, so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing, actually. Um, it doesn't look too complicated to actually understand. Um, they're, make, they're basically just checking for a bunch of different inputs and then just translating things. Let's see. Okay, now this is a little interesting. They have their own, um, in this sample they've included touchscreen controls. I can't test that here because I don't have a touchscreen monitor on my desktop. I actually do on my laptop. I'm one of those weirdos that has a touchscreen laptop. But, um, yeah, I, um, that's nice. Uh, it looks a little bit, not sloppy, but like it could be done a little better. Um, but honestly, I can't think of any other way to really do it, so... That's all right. Let's see. How do they, um... Okay, so for each event that happens, they just check the type of it, and then they... Oh, okay, they have this wonderful little, uh, gesture type enumerator that just lets you... Wow, nice! That makes it really easy, actually. I'm gonna take that back. That's actually pretty nicely implemented. Um... You can make a lot of testing controls really easily with that. All right. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm probably not going to be doing test screen stuff, but if you are, that's handy. Um, that could be, if you could, you know, get that. If you can master that, that can be really nice. Um, it's been an hour and Rad did nothing yet. Oh, I wasn't planning on doing too much. I just want to see what it, what um, I think of this. Let me actually, yeah. You know what? Let me do something though. Um, yes, that's odd that it actually asked. That that was quick though. It compiled very quickly. So all right. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's let's try to make something basic. So, okay, how would you go about doing this? Can you just make a script in Visual Studio, or do you have to make it in the editor? Either way is fine, I'm just wondering. Also, oh, I just noticed this. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful! You have full control over that! Whoa! Hang on, you can't do this in freaking Unity! <laughs> Can you- Oh, yes! I like that a lot. It's like X and A. Oh my gosh, really? Hang on, I gotta try that. What he should be doing is playing SADX. I'm planning on doing that soon. Not today, though. Okay. Alright, that's because- Oh, because I didn't start the game yet. So, right, so uh, you have to run it first before window gets set to something. Still, though, you can probably pull that off. I can't put it here after run. Because, um, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, because that's going to, uh, like, um, frick, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm really losing my, uh, uh I, I can't speak today, jeez. Uh, okay, because this function, I, I, I doubt, um, finishes execution until the program closes. But, okay, so can I do what I do in, um, model game then? Oh, wait, what am I doing? Where you just try something like this? And then you would actually set it. Oh, right, well, let's, I'm sorry, let's make it static. And then you would run it here. That's not in a using block, so I think you actually have to close it. <laughs> that would, I mean, that would be a little goofy, but... Huh. I don't know why they put it in a using... Like, th does it matter if it's closed properly? Uh, I guess it does. All right, so can we... Okay, let, let's see. Um, from here, then, can we just go straight into whatever? Um, uh, who knows? Uh, can we just take a script like this and in it just say... Oh, no, because this is the shared project, right. Okay, so okay, so it is a little different than just X and A. You can't just um, immediately set the settings of your window, but that's that should be fine, honestly. Though if you can just make a script, okay. I need to check. Don't ask me again on that. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I know I'm not explaining this very well. I'm kind of discovering it for myself um, as I'm watching this. All right, so this is something I'm curious about. Yeah, scripts. Whoa, there's a lot of presets. I didn't expect this. All right. This is nice. Wow. Raw is it? Woo! 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm acting like a child in a candy store. But that's that's nice um, that there's an option for that. That helps a lot because I, I would... Uh, there's a lot of use cases where I need to just have binary data. Ooh, colliders. That's nice too. Okay, scenes. And then yeah, this is the part I'm curious about, of course. Actually, let me check UI stuff first. Okay, not too much. We'll get to that later. Um, yeah, they're really fighting Unity with this one. Um, by having the async script be the first thing you can select. It's not even because it's alphabetically ordered. Like, these should be up here if it's alphabetically ordered. They just wanted you to, sh to, like, they just wanted to show you, like, look, you can do async stuff. You geniuses. Oh, okay. Uh, so you can make the script yourself. These are just templates. Nice. Let's try something. Um, exa- uh, frick. <laughs> Test script. Uh, it won't be easy until it's saved. Well, of course I want to save. S yes. Alright. A little odd that they would ask you about that. Like, why would you not want to reload it? Oh, okay. But that's only- that's- you only have to reload it if you make it from the editor. That's the part I'm curious about, though. Can you make the scripts from here? I'm gonna have to try that in a second. But first, uh, let's try something else. So, let's see. I don't know how to actually get a handle on the window. Um, oh! Like that. Hang on, really? No. Okay, you can get the mouse position. Not that. Uh, hmm. I'll have to look at the API to actually know what the heck it is I'm doing. I'm just kind of trying stuff. Oh, good night, Dev. <laughs> ask Rad to leak. Uh, sorry, ask Rad to leak S A R. What? No. Yep. There you go. You, 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 your your wish has been denied. How does it feel to be denied? All right. Well, um, I'll have to like actually look into um, the API a little better because I don't know what I'm doing right now. Right? Like, I don't know what stuff to actually call, but I'm gonna try one thing, um, if you do this, just console.write line, whatever, will it show up in the console? I would love that. Oh, I didn't, I didn't put the script on anything. I don't know if it's, if you have to, or if it, yeah, of course you have to, why would you not? Yeah, I have to put this on a object, I don't know what I'm freaking doing. Did anyone say shod? N no, not until now. When you made me say it. How you doing? Yeah, let me, uh... Put that on something. I'm so I'm sorry. Okay, here. So we have a test script. So can we just drag it on like in Unity? No. How do we actually add this? Odd. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought that would be the case. Do you have to... Oh, do you have to do that? Because that's... I mean, that works. But that's... Not very ideal. It would be nice to drag it on. I'm sorry. I have to move around to, like, see this section of the screen better. I really can't drag it on. Yeah, when I click it, it... Oh, dear. Um, I don't like that. Uh, not gonna lie. Can you... When you say add a set, it means to the folder. Yeah. Ugh. Yikes. Okay. So you do actually have to scroll down, and there's not even a search bar, so you have to actually do that. Nah, I, that, that's that's not cool. <laughs> um, though maybe you can, you can you can almost surely spawn game objects with um, scripts on them in code. So if that's the case, that's not too big of a deal. But that's that's pretty bad. If you have a ton of scripts, this menu is going to get so cluttered. Um, yeah. Alright, there's a priority, too. That's, oh, that's very nice. That's something I was wishing Unity would have, um, for a while, actually. Uh, basically, you can choose which scripts get executed above which other scripts. So that's good. And Unity was just kind of random. So, that's good. I like that. I approve of that. Okay, uh, let's save this. And then build it from here because I want to see that console output. I noticed if you actually start it from the editor, it seems to open up a command prompt window. So I'm guessing that's your console output if you don't start it from Visual Studio. 
I need to check a charger. Did any you had to check a charger? Did anything good happen? Uh, well, I found. Um, uh, you can set script priority, which is nice. Oh, there it is. Whatever. It actually printed with that. All right, nice. Um, that's a very minor thing, but kudos to them for that one. In Unity, you want to log something, you have to type debug.log. And that might not sound that bad. You might go, what's the big deal, right? Well, here's the reason it's a big deal. Uh, Visual Studio has these things called snippets, where you can basically just type something small, and then use keyboard shortcuts to type the rest for you, which is extremely handy. It has a snippet for console.writeLine that I've gotten so used to it's insane. Where you can just do CW tab tab, and then you can type here, and it prints, it writes console.writeLine for you. So, it's so hard when I'm so used to writing debug stuff with this in Unity to not do this, and then go, oh, wait, hang on, debug.log, and then have to, you know, change it like that. So, it's a very minor nitpick again, but I really like that. Um, that's nice. Uh, we have Twitter notifications. Don't do it for the sake of the children. But what if the children are programmers? You didn't think of that, did you? Alright. Uh, so, oh dear, why did it do that? <laughs> why is it so bright? Um, I didn't put that on the wall. Okay, whatever, I guess maybe I did by accident. Alright, so I'm gonna look at this for a second here, because I'm very curious to see. Okay, so instead of mo- okay, that's interesting. So instead of mono behaviors, they have sync scripts, async scripts, or startup scripts. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Okay, there's three different kinds of mono behaviors that have different behaviors by default. Um, so that- that's cool. There is one thing I'm a little con uh, confused about, though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if this is a startup script, then why did uh, that not execute at startup until I put it on an object? Is I'm sorry, I'm stupid. I, I don't get the difference yet. So let me try and um, let's look in the, let's look in the docs. Let's see if the docs are any good. <laughs> and meanwhile, the chat is talking about freaking what my, my Little Pony. All right, good good job. <laughs> I like how they say this. Ex Exenco scripts are written in C-sharp. You can edit scripts in Game Studio or another IDE, such as Visual Studio. And then it says, Explaining C-sharp is out of the scope of this documentation. <laughs> that, thank you for um, mentioning that. Uh, there are actually... I I've actually talked to a lot of people who, I'm, I kid you not, have just went to the Unity docs and just clicked on scripting, and then were like, I don't get it! Because they never actually programmed before. They just thought that the docs would teach them how to program as well. It's like, no, you gotta know how to how C-sharp works before you can write Unity code in C-sharp, you know what I mean? Like, anyway. No, Rad started it for not reading my message. Oh, oh, that's what it was. Alright. <laughs> Blocks. Just kidding, of course. Alright, types of a script. Thank you. Let's see how nicely they explain this. Startup scripts can only run when they are added or removed, or, or not can, but just only. Run when they are added or removed at runtime. Okay, they're mostly used to initialize game elements, um, and destroy them when, okay, and destroy them when the scene is unloaded, okay. They have a start method for initialization and a cancel method. You can override either method if you need to. So, alright, so these execute only once. Alright, that's cool. Um, so then what's the point of, yeah, they're initialized and then they update every frame and are finally cancelled. Okay, so, alright, so if you've got a script that's just for initiali uh, initialization, and you don't need to update every frame, you use this. And so that actually saves some, um, I guess, CPU cycles, because every frame it doesn't try to update this. Like, I call the update method on this, basically. It doesn't, because it doesn't need to, right? So if you just want to initialize some stuff and that's it, you can use this. That's nice, I like that. Um, because there's a lot of cases where I've needed just one startup script. And, uh, yeah, there's not an option for that in Unity specifically, so it's not too big of a deal, but that's a nice feature as well. Alright, um, hmm. So, how would you, alright, one thing I'm very curious about right off the bat. Um, I saw that, uh, window dot, oh, frick, I'm opening my mod loader. <laughs> my terrible mod loader. You can say main game dot window dot something, but then this is not initialized. 
um, until after you call run. So how do you actually change these, if at all? Because I can't access this from uh, from like within here, since it's in a different project. Yeah, they made a portable. I guess this is a .NET standard library. Yeah, it is. That's pretty nice. Okay, they made a .NET standard project for me, and they made two other .NET standard projects for these specific platforms. So I can do specific things for Linux or for Windows if I need to, which is nice. However, it's the stuff is not shared, so hmm. Uh, what I'm looking for is, yeah, how do I change Windows stuff? So let's see. I'm assuming that would be in, uh, maybe, probably not UI, maybe? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of UI stuff. Wow. I gotta try that out, too. Um, hmm. Graphics, maybe? I don't know where else it would be, honestly. You can target... Wow. Alright. That's, that's pretty nice. Uh, it's not just limited to DirectX. Or OpenGL. Why is it flashing like that? That's a little annoying. What version is that mod loader? I think the, the, the latest before I started the rewrite and then never finished it. Um, the code for this is a mess. My gosh. Like, I, I need to redo all of it, honestly. But I just never had the motive to. Um, Alright, so I'm going to Google some things. Uh, the community is one major downside um, of Xenco. Uh, I'm going to say that right now because hardly anyone's ever heard of this engine, right? Um, so hopefully that'll change in the coming years, but let's see if, if I just Google something, if I'll actually get any helpful results, or if I'm just kind of on my own. Um, because that was one thing that turned me off of Unreal Engine 4 at first, actually. Um, well, especially Unreal Engine 3, my gosh. You Googled anything with that, and it was, it was kind of like you were in the, um, just, uh, I can't think of a good analogy. <laughs> Basically, you, you couldn't find any, um, any help, and it was really painful sometimes. So, yeah, let's see, um, Exenco... Borderless window. Alright. They have an answers section. Just like Unity. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm sorry. This should go at the very start of the app before rendering occurs. Okay. So. Wow, it's like Unity. I'm sorry, not Unity. It's like XNA. Um. I wonder if it's based off of XNA or something. That would make sense, actually. Let's see. Window position equals... Alright, so... I'm I think they changed this to a Vector2 probably as well later on. Let me see. Because this is from 2014, I'm noticing. Wait, what the? Um, no, hang on. That's the part I'm confused about. Let's see. Oh, wow, this is very fitting music. Yeah, uh, let me actually, you know what, let's skip ahead a bit. There we go. It's more upbeat now. <laughs> it's like Unity. It's like X and A. It really is like a bunch of things. It feels like a weird mesh of Unity, Unreal Engine 4, and X and A. But I'm not complaining because it's taking the things I like from all of those, which is very interesting. I I'm really curious to see... Um, if this will be any useful. That said, uh, right, right after that, I'm not, I'm having a little bit of trouble figuring out how to do something like make a borderless window. So, that's odd. He says you just put this at the start of the app, which is what I expected, but when I did that, I'm getting a null reference exception. Because the game is not yet initialized at this point. Is there maybe a, let's see, is there maybe a, like, start? event or something? No. Alright. Yeah, window is null at this point, I assume. Oh, window created! Oh, okay. So wait, you do this then? And then you could actually put here, like, uh, whatever. I, I know it would. it's better practice to use the sender that's passed, but I'm just gonna do this just as a test. Um... Right, uh, chat, what should I put here? What what should I make the window text say? I want you guys to answer that. And while I'm waiting for chat to catch up on that, I'm gonna, um, 
change something else. Let's do that. All right. Rad Twitter plays. All right, I'll check it. Not Sonic Adventure Remastered. <laughs> oh. Okay. Good job. Good job. I like that. Not Sonic Adventure Remastered. Make it say, check Twitter. I already did, you frick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. All right. Make it a random int. Oh, that would be excellent as well. Let's just see if this works. It's taking a while to compile. That's, that's a minor complaint as well. It does seem to take a while to start up. Like, look at this. There it goes. Yeah, it made it borderless, and... Um, that was a stupid idea. <laughs> we... I know, we'll make it borderless and then make it so that it changes the title, which we can't see because it's borderless! Brilliant! You actually can see it if you hover over here. It changed it. Alright then, that's nice. So you have a window created event. I believe XNA has that as well, actually. Let me Google that. XNA window created event. Maybe it doesn't. No, it doesn't. All right, that's a nice thing. I'm not gonna lie. Um, cool. So let's put a random let's put a random int there because I like the suggestion too. Um, clone, and then let's do this. Oh, we actually can use the latest C sharp stuff because this isn't um freaking Unity. Wow. Hang on, is it a random class? No, we gotta use the system one. Cool. Actually, I don't mind that. I thought it was kind of weird that um Unity had its own random class. New random. That's so random. All right, rand dot next. Um, let's just have it like four hundred. All right. Oh, I made it portless again. What am I doing? Uh. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I was gonna remove that line. I'm, st I'm just stupid. Yeah, it really... Okay, it really does take a while to start. Um, so that's a downside. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, let's see. So, uh, you know what? It, it's not even... Hang on. I shouldn't have made it boardless again. Oh, it doesn't even say the title there. Uh, what if I alt-tab? What is- wait, what is that? No, I don't friggin- <laughs> uh, I should- I shouldn't have done, uh, this. But, yeah. Okay, what else can we change? Can we change the resolution? No, but I think there's probably a way. Size? Oh, what am I doing? Duh. It would be size, probably. I- I know it's like, Rad, you're really just gonna try out, like, the Windows stuff, but I, I, I'll i go into other things, I'm just curious. Yeah, that is exactly like Unity. I'm uh, not, frick, I said Unity again. <laughs> like X and A. Um, is it a vector two? No, it's a rectangle. Wow, that's a long, let's uh, fix that up. Nope, nope, come on. There we go. Let's say, uh, whatever. We're gonna go at exactly there, and it's gonna be, 1280 by 720. Can we change it or is it just a getter? Oh, it is just a getter. All right, how do they change it here? Oh, just like an XNA. Graphics device. No, hang on. It would probably be that. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Oh my gosh. So we can just do this. And then we can apply it, just like an X and A. This is the best resolution, guys. Uh, probably position, yeah. Is it an int 2 still? That's weird. It should be a vector 2, but... Oh, no, because it's just an, in it's just an int instead of... Uh, yeah, it doesn't take um, float values. Okay, I'm, well, yeah, that makes sense. Being stupid. Can you increment a number every build? Uh, probably. You can in most engines at least. How long does it take? It's at least like five seconds at this point. 
Yeah, it takes about 10 seconds to start. So I got your master clone 101. Nice. But it did start up there. And it actually had the right resolution. Looks like at least. I'm not quite sure. Let, let, let me see. This is probably not going to be exactly... Yeah. Alright. Not bad. I forgot to apply it, though. I'm a freaking idiot. Um... Yeah, well, I don't even need to run. You get the point. Um, alright, so Windows stuff you have a lot of control over, which is pretty nice. Um, alright, let's see if we can actually get, like, a ball to move or something. Let's get the ball rolling! <laughs> yeah, just kill me. Alright, um, let's just make a basic... Can you make a... Oh, you can make a subfolder, okay. Good, that's nice. Um... Uh, whatever. Objects. And then here... We'll make a script. That's a sync script. So this happens every frame on the main thread. Uh, move. <laughs> right, it's the best name you've ever seen. Whoa. I, I forgot. They have their own built-in script editor. Is this any good? I mean, I, I'm... Definitely gonna use Visual Studio instead, but like a hundred it's not even a question, like a hundred percent, but is it any good? Oh, it has IntelliSense. Or at least, you know, their own version of it. What the heck it has snippets? Uh whoa. Is this based off of Rosalind? Or have you pronounced that? Basically the thing that um powers Visual Studio because it really looks like it. Um if not, then they kind of- wait, hang on a minute, really? Random thing- oh, frick, I can't even type. Oh, that doesn't work. What about- find. That- that does. That works as well. It's- 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 like, it's Visual Studio, like... Except without, like, a bunch of helpful shortcut keys, like, there's no Control-Shift-L, apparently. But, huh. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely using Visual Studio instead, but that's actually better than I thought it would be. I thought it was just going to be, like, Notepad. You know, like, you guys have edited code in Notepad, right? It's, it's, uh, it's great. It's great. Yeah, it's, it's great. Is that VS and Exenco? Yeah, it looks exactly like Visual Studio. I know, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, you know, let me get some other music, too. Is there control, uh, I'm sorry, RR? Yeah, that's, that's what I just tried. Um, there isn't, actually. There also isn't, um, Control shift l for deleting lines. I didn't try, um, uh, commenting lines, though. Nope, that's not a thing. Control k and then Control c doesn't work either. So, it's Visual Studio, but without the shortcut keys. I, I don't know why you'd use this. Um, the only thing I can think of is, if you don't have Visual Studio installed for some reason, you can use this instead. So, eh? That's nice. Um... I, hmm. I can't decide if, if I can say it's better than Mono Develop. Uh, <laughs> uh, probably not. I'm not a big fan of Mono Develop to begin with, but it, you know, has shortcut keys. Um, and those are very important when you're programming. Like, very important. Because uh, it saves you a lot of clicking. Like what I'm having to do now a little bit. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Let's see. There's actually three different options. What, open a set file? What is... Oh. Why does that open in a Visual Studio? Wait, it's open source file. What? Oh, okay. Alright, this is for, um... So what it means by open source file is open the file that it came from. Okay, so let's say, for example, if you import, like, a PNG texture, and then it converts it to its own, like, Exenco texture format or something. So then if you right-click and you choose open a set file, it'll open up the Exenco texture. And if you choose open source, it'll open up the PNG texture that you imported it from, I guess. So, okay. And then this is just Notepad. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It's ugly. Sorry. Sorry, Notepad. Nothing personal, but geez. Um, you're not designed for code. <laughs> uh, alright. And if you say edit a set, then that's what you get when you double-click. Yeah. Really weird, honestly. Um, can you set it so that when you double click it opens it up in Visual Studio? Because I would really be appreciative of that. Um, are you kidding? Wait, oh, can you change the default type? Hang on. 
Please. 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 Oh boy. Are we in? We're in! Alright! <laughs> That's nice! Um, cool. You can't up, uh, let's not show code that I'm not supposed to show yet. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, you can actually, um, open things up in OPA++ like that. That's nice. Uh, I'm sorry, the music stopped, I know. Um, amazed that Notepad got the lined ending? That's true, uh, huh. I guess it generates these with Windows line endings. Very odd. Alright, let's try, um... The 3D Blast OST, because as much as I'm not a fan of Sonic 3D Blast, it has a really good soundtrack. Like, really good. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's just do that. It's quiet as heck, but... Hang on a second, sorry. Alright, let me know if that's, like, too quiet or too loud. Or just sounds awful. Why did you make the stream? I don't know. <laughs> I just felt like it. I'm, I'm, my, my streams are freaking weird, so. Why would you not- oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I got loud there. Why would you not have Visual Studio installed for C-sharp? That is a good point. I don't know. Um, some people don't. I know there's a lot of people who just downloaded Unity, don't know anything about C-sharp, and they got um, Model Develop, because it comes with Unity, and they're like, I'll just use that! I mean, I don't know if Visual Studio is even a thing. Which makes me cringe like you wouldn't believe, but anyway. Uh, interface. Okay, whoa. There's some, actually some options here. Oh, I can use- I can set it to Japanese! Oh, exciting. Uh, ask confirmation before deleting the sets. That's good. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, reload assemblies. Okay. That might be helpful, too. Okay. Oh, you can set a default session, too. That's nice. Um, hmm. Oh, wait, 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 there we go. Please. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Alright, please. Ah. Alright, so I, I don't think you can actually tell it to, um... Open your scripts in Visual Studio when you double-click. That's annoying. Um, hmm. Maybe you can? Yeah, I don't see an option to anywhere. So that's, that's annoying, um, so you have to either right-click on the script and then choose open a set file, or just stay in Visual Studio and then double-click it. Not a huge deal, but that's a little frustrating. Alright, what else? Um, Minecraft awesome parodies! Oh gosh, no, please. I lost my sanity enough last time. Alright, let's see, can you... Oh, that's the name of my script, right. Alright, I'm trying- let me see if I can guess how you actually make it move. I probably cannot. Oh, there was a built- there is a example script for that. Uh, let's see. Default direction. Yeah, I can think of touch input. Update. Process input. Alright, they have... So how does it actually move the object in the end? Let's see. Translation? Is that just a- it's just a field? Or- no, this is the field that we made, right? You know what I mean when I say we made. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 it's the one that we did. Okay, so then how are they assigning this in-game? Entity dot. There we go. Alright. Entity dot transform dot position. Let's just add something to it. Uh, whoa. Five overloads? That's nice. I like those. Okay, let's say, uh, just move on the x-axis. Alright, are you guys ready to see some hardcore physics? Uh, actually, let me try one more thing. I was just gonna ask this. That's very nice. Let's see if that, um, let's see how true that is. Uh, let's give it a default property, too. Um, default property. And then let's 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 try something that I'm very curious about because uh, Unity does not support this at all. I want to see if this works. Private int important int equals seven. And then let's do this. Let's make a getter for it. Oops. And also a setter. Um. 
I know this isn't like I, I'm just testing if this shows up. I, I'm curious to see what happens. Will it actually show in the interface? And also, since this is not a startup script, can I drag this one on? No, I can't. All right, I don't like that. Um, that's really bad that you have to actually go up here and add each component manually, and it's really bad that you can't search for them. Like, is there at least? Oh, it doesn't even organize it by folders. Oh gosh, dude, no, that's bad. I, I, I'm, I'm not fond of that. Um, let's see though if uh, did it show up? Oh my gosh, there it is. Important int. So it does support getters and setters. Very good. That's very good. If I comment this out though, it probably won't show up because it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a reason to, right? Like you can't set it to anything, so what's the point? Let's see. Yep, that was that was smart. That's programmed very nicely. Can you have static properties be set to something? Pro Probably not, that'd be a little weird, actually. I don't even really see a reason why you'd want that, but let's say static string equals static. This is almost surely not gonna show up. If it, if it does, it'll surprise me. Yeah, yeah, okay. No big deal. Um, You wouldn't want to set that on an instance of your script anyway, so... All right. Um, so if you want to hide them from the... I don't know, I guess you could do that. Oh, also, if you make them private, of course. Yeah, so, okay, just make it private, and then you can't edit it in here. Seems that's legit. That's fine. Um, let's try a couple other things, though, because I'm really curious. Um, uh, important flag. And then let's let's try a, a few more, because I'm very curious to see what happens. Um, uh, my important enumerator important option one important option two and then let's do this important enum and uh last but not least I'm, I'm sorry i know i'm boring you all to death can you do list because you can't uh wait can you do list in unity no no no, no. dictionaries you cannot do those in Unity for sure. And I hate that you can't set dictionary properties in Unity. Please tell me you can do this. Uh, dictionary of ints. If you can't, I won't be surprised. Um, it will be a little disappointing, I'm not gonna admit, but let's see. What about protected? Haven't tried that yet. Probably not. Let's see. All right, priority is there, of course. Important string, yeah, you can edit that, cool. Important int, can doesn't let you type Okay, it lets you, the text box is kind of smart. It could be better, but it, it lets you actually type characters, but it it's smart enough to correct them, so good. It does have checkboxes for Booleans. Go, that's good, instead of having true or false, right? Oh, nice. All right, we have enumerators of dropdowns. Dictionaries! Good job. Good job. And it's really nice, too. Let's see. Um really important value one. Oh my gosh look at that and you can rename them like wow can you even reorder it oh i'm liking this a lot oh you can drag the box to set values like in unity okay um hi oh what where did that go Okay, uh, it actually deleted that for some reason. That was weird. Can you not name it high? Oh, you can. I don't know what happened. Wait, let me try... What the heck? Enter deletes it, apparently. I don't know how you actually save um, a rename. Weird. But other than that, it supports freaking dictionaries. That's... That's good. I really, really appreciate that. That there's like there's actually a, a, a sorry a considerable amount of use cases for that. Um, yeah, let me try protected um, fields. I doubt it because it actually says public member fields. Um, so I I actually don't want it to show up. But um, 
and I, I should be making this lowercase. I don't want it to show up actually, but if it does, let's see what happens. Nope, didn't show up. That's good to me at least, um, because for me, uh, like I, I wouldn't like it doesn't make sense to me to be able to edit private variables in the editor, um, because that's supposed to be stuff that you can use to you know it's private, right? It's only accessible by the code, so you know like um, for stashing temporary information or whatever. So that's that's very good. Um, huge thumbs up to Exenko for uh, their parsing of public variables. <laughs> Matter fields and properties, like, dang, that's very impressive. Um, if you put this, if you were to do this in Unity, that dictionary would not show up, this get setter would not show up, and, um, I don't remember, I think it actually does support enumerators, but, yeah, um, that stuff is nice. Alright, so let's see if it actually moves the, uh, coin. It's probably gonna be really fast, but... Let's see, let's see that coin. I want to see if it moves. Alright, it takes about 10 seconds. So it should be up in about... Oh, it tells... There's a second count right here. Yeah, exactly 10. That's amazing. Where's it at? Alright, I don't see it moving. You? Nope, it's not moving. Alright then. Oh, it has Exenko on it. I just now noticed that. It's kind of funny. Um, alright, let's see, maybe, okay, I've got a, there's a couple reasons this, that could be. Maybe you have to, like, apply it. Nope, you don't have to apply it, alright. Um, oh, wait, whoa. Okay, uh, it might be because I'm, like, applying a global movement or something? Hmm, actually, I'm not sure why that is. Do I have it on the coin? Yeah, I, I certainly do. Oh, I didn't save it! Oh, I'm stupid. Wait, let's try it now. Play Forces Theme Kazood. No! Think about the children. Is that even a thing? Because if it is... Yes, of course. How could I not play that? Right, let's see if the coin moves now. Oh, there it goes! Where's it at? It's gone already. That was fast, jeez. Oh, there's no backface calling on that playing, but- Oh, it's a playing. Why would it have backface calling? What about the- Oh, that doesn't have it either. Is there backface calling in this? Pro probably? I hope so, because Unity doesn't have that, and I, I sorely miss backface calling. Or rather, you have to make your own shader if you want to do that. Alright, the coin's gone, so it definitely is moving. Um, Let me, uh- Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, I just did the Unity thing. <laughs> I, I I said I'm so used to um you know typing C C W and then I and then I do that. All right, let's print every frame where it's at, and also let's slow this down quite a bit. It is good. Well, if you find one, let me know. I might have to uh, experience that with you all. Let's see. It, it, it is a little bit a little bit frustrating that it takes this long to start, but it's not too big of a deal. Where is it at? There it is. Oh, there there it is. It's moving. Just like that. And it's lo Ooh, it logs uh, vectors very nicely. The vector3 to string method is pretty nice. I like that. It makes it easier to tell which values are which. Though it does take up more space than um, the unity method of just having the... Uh, you know, like commas in between each. There goes that coin. He's on his journey. Alright, so I mean, that's a very basic thing, right? But I wanted to see how hard that was. So that's actually pretty easy. I just didn't know what the guy was doing. Oh, you can put tags on it. Ah. Really? It's an... Oh. What is this? So wait, it's a... Um, let's see, it's a custom class, I guess? Odd, okay, um, i have to look into that. But yeah, their tag system seems to be more complicated than Unity's. Um, it's it that scene? Oh, you can get the scene that it's from. Oh, wow, so does it actually implement like a, uh, 
sort of like a global object system. What I mean is like, okay, you, like you can transfer stuff between scenes easily. Because that's interesting. Can you, you can, you can remove a child object. Can you also set an index? Oh, you can set an ID. Okay. Can you get your ID? Yeah, all right. Good. That's pretty nice. What about this? Ah, look at that. What about this one? You can set an index. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's see. Git? What would this be? Like, get a component? Ah, alright. Alright, so it's very similar to Unity. Um, I can't stress that enough. But, I, I don't mind, honestly. Um, oh, you can get components like this? Really? Oh, is it based on their priority, or is it just, hmm. Okay. Okay, you have to cast it. So, like, as, uh, what? Test script? Oh, that's in the wrong, um, hang on, is it in the different namespace? Oh, it is! Oh, because I sell. oh, oh, uh, duh. Uh, can I not do that? Okay, hang on. There we go. Wow. I'm sorry, I I'm liking this a lot, actually. Um, well, okay, can you not, uh, let's see, hang on. Cool, you can do that. Oh, actually, that won't um, even crash, will it? Because I actually do have it as the first component. Will that actually work? Or, well, I'll check that out, but let me see one more thing. Um, I really want to know this. Can you please, please tell me you can make scripts um, from within Visual Studio without even having to go to the editor? It would save me so much time. Let's see. Uh, I don't. I don't think you can. But well, I mean, you know what? You might be able to just make a class. I mean, it won't, it won't have the Exenco stuff, but you can just do that, right? Let me try that. Um, important class. There we go. Uh, let's see. It extends. Uh, sync. Sync script. I believe it was called. Yeah. Okay. Um, public override. Ah, look at these. There's actually not many methods to override, though. That's concerning. And then let's have it print, um... Oh, wait, wait, wait what's this? Oh, it, ne it needs to implement it. I didn't realize that. Okay, so it needs to have that. Okay, well... Whatever, that's fine. Uh, let's do this. I didn't realize it was an abstract class somehow. Um, I started. Aren't you hyped? And let's not throw an unimplemented exception every single frame, please. All right. Uh, you know what? I don't. I, I'm actually not so fond of that. Um, that you have to have an update method because there's sometimes where you just wouldn't want that. But I guess that's what the start script is for, right? So I guess I just have to get used to doing that. All right, that makes sense actually. Okay, so let's see if I can actually add that now. Where did I put that? I just called it important class and it's part of the Execo Impressions namespace. Okay. So this actually should be showing up. Right? Because I actually don't see it. So, hmm. Oh, oh it tells me right here. Unable to resolve tag. Uh, oh, that's the one it's unable to load? Maybe it didn't compile the whole thing because of that. Hang on, let's see. Unable to resolve tag dot game. Did I really make a typo? Oh, no, it's because of this. Hang on. I I'm sorry, I renamed the namespace in it. Okay, alright, no big deal. Uh, but, okay, is important class here? Because that's very important to me. <laughs> Oh, you have an Imgur link? I'm sorry, I still can't, is it Im Imgur or Imgur? I can't decide. Um, I'll check it out in a moment. Let me just see if I can find, uh, if it, if it put that script anywhere. It probably didn't. What about this? Okay. So that's nice. There's no, um, hmm. Whoa, 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, th that's the same error as what I got before. Um, hmm, if I save that, will that... Yeah. It it's not updating, so alright. That's a little... A little disappointing, admittedly. But, okay, so... Is it just not in the list of things? Hmm. Add a set. Can you add an existing one? Nope. Alright, so you have to add it like that. Uh, which is actually a little worse than Unity. Can I not even exit? Okay. Because in Unity you can just drag in the scripts. Whereas here, um... That class is right there, but it's just not noticing that it exists. Alright, that's disappointing. I'm not gonna... not gonna lie. Is it because I, I didn't include it properly, though? Let me check something. If I hit properties, is there a way that it's... a special way that it's compiled? Nope. I was thinking there might be a Xenko thing here. But no, it's just, uh... Not showing up. Alright! What if I... oh wait, what if I build it, though? Alright. Will that update? Oh, there it is! Okay, so I have to build it, but if I do that, it shows up. Uh, hmm, I thought I built it automatically. That's a little concerning. Wait, what? Doesn't it? It reloads assemblies, but it doesn't build them for me. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so it was my, it was my fault then. Let's have the table have an important class on it. Very, very important. You wouldn't, you wouldn't understand. All right, and also let's run it from here again because why not? I want to see if that console um, that shows up is actually where you get your output, or maybe it's here. Oh, it's probably here. There's actually even filters for certain types of messages. Ooh, -hoo. that's nice as well. So you get to choose. You know, you want to see everything. Uh, in Visual Studio, you want to see everything here, or do you want to only see certain things here? You can eat, there's even a search bar. That's nice. Alright, let's see if this... Yeah, there is no console window. So it's down here. I guess. Um, that coin's moving, but I don't see it printing anything anywhere. Alright, let's try... from here. So I guess the output is different. That's bizarre. I'm not quite sure why that is. If you want to get console.writeline input, I guess you have to get it from Visual Studio. Yeah, you do. Eh, okay. That's not so bad. It's a little disheartening, I guess, but... That's, that's alright. That makes sense. There's probably a custom Xenco like log function as well. Did... The music to stop again? Oh, it just decided that was it. Okay. Wow. Let's. Fine. This is. We'll do that one. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll check out your link. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Up. Oh, nope. Wrong button. I always do that. Please don't be a 404. All right. Nice. Yeah. That looks awful with uh. That on. Oh. Cool. Nice. Is this the one from the SA2 project, or did you input your own? Can you turn up your mic a bit? Uh, I actually don't have an option for that on Windows. Um, I mean, maybe I do. Yeah, hang on. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was that quiet. Am I really? Um, if I turn it up much more, it's going to be kind of muffled, but let's try it a little bit. Is that a little better? I, I just turned it up a tiny bit, so hopefully that, that is it. If it's too loud, let me know and I, I, I'll i turn it down. Taz, no, 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 go back. No, I lost my sanity. I can't have it here. What did, what, what, why, Taz? Why have you done this to me? Why are you, why? I'm very concerned. Oh, you imported the model from the... Oh, okay. It's the Wii U version. Cool, I didn't even notice. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Yeah, I, you can tell because of the HUD. I just didn't... I started! Whatever! <laughs> it's like an angsty teen. That's excellent. 
Where did I even tell it to say whatever? I don't uh, right here. Okay. Okay, so what order is it doing that in? So it's saying I started first and then whatever. So how does it determine that the table comes before the coin? Oh, because the table is first in the list. If I rearrange them, will it then print the other one first? Because it's so you have full control over everything. Hi, Red. Watch Sonic Forces kazooed like he said. Okay, I guess I'll have to check this out. Also, hey, how you doing? Let me just see if this prints correctly. Yep, there goes that coin. Alright, let me go check something. I could just search for whatever. Yeah, this time it says whatever first. Wow. Alright, so you get full control over the order of your of your scripts as execution. I can't speak. Whereas in Unity, that's random. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's pretty nice. Okay, it seems to all execute in a sensible manner, too. I kind of like it. Uh, not gonna lie. Uh, I haven't tried some more advanced stuff yet, though. You know what? Uh, let me try and load a file. A real basic one. Uh, once the song ends, I'll, I'll try and remember to look up the the meme you guys are telling me to in a moment as well. Um, let's see. Let's have in test script. Let's try and load up a XML file. So, or rather, you know what? Let's write an XML file. That might be interesting. Um, let's do this. Um, int... Uh, whatever. XML int. Oh, wait, let's do this. XML ints. Alright, then. Let's do this. For each. No, this is awful. Okay, uh, disclaimer my code is not usually this bad. I just want to test something. Okay, you do have the link classes. That's nice. Uh. XML dot save and then let's just oh let's let's also have it so you can specify the path Yeah seems good. Oh Yeah, we can use a stream right. What am I doing? Um, Using var file stream equals file That oh, I'm sorry. I said I said after that song the, the, that the, that um the credits theme of 3D Blast is almost more like uh, painful to the ears than what I'm about to find. Let's see if I can find this atrocity. Oh no. Okay. I okay. Disclaimer. I don't believe I've watched this yet. I mean. Oh no. What? Why? Why? Why do you all hate me? Why? <laughs> oh, he's really feeling it. No, get away, Slither.io head. How, how did he do this? Why am I watching this? Also, wow. <laughs> Jeez. That's actually really impressive. <laughs> oh, gosh. That moment when you unironically enjoyed, like, a, a, a kazoo version of a song. What the heck? That's... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's amazing. GG, guys. I did not expect that to happen. Oh, come on. It's really not letting me do shift-tab. How is he on sync with the dang kazoo? <laughs> <clears throat> That's quite impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Jeez. Excellent. He's really feeling that the end here. <laughs> this is uh, something for sure. Oh, okay, nice. That outro was just as good as the video. 
And I don't mean that ironically. It was amazing. <laughs> wow. Um, I am I am a changed man. That was something. Thank you all for suggesting that. <laughs> that thing. <laughs> GG. I don't even know how to follow that up now. Uh, I guess we'll just freaking go for something boring. Um, let's go for the Unleashed OST. Yeah! Yeah! I'm sorry. I'm like a kid in the candy store. Now play Mission 53! Never! Okay, generate XML document. So let's do this. Um, I would usually generate them a little better than this, but whatever. Let's, um... Um... Important XML. We're just gonna have that important, um... Like, everything we're doing here is very important. Like, you would, you would understand. It's... It's the most important thing. Alright, uh, for each, uh... Whatever, just... Th this is not efficient, but let's just go with this. For each int... No. For each i in XML ints... Um... Uh, let's see... Let's add this element. No, come on. Int alum. No, let's just do this. Yeah. Alright. Cool. And then we're gonna generate it with this. Alright, let's see if it writes the XML file correctly. Um... Oh, I don't even need to- I can just do this. Wrote to... And then let's print the path. Alright, let's see. Oh, frick, what am I doing? Uh, wait, control break? That's whatever, that's fine. I still don't know after all these years- Oh, there's the break key. Right, literally, I literally looked down and I found it, like, immediately. I- I'm an idiot. Alright, um, let's, uh... Alright, let's add this. So, this table, you are gonna change the world table. You are going to write an XML file. Uh-huh. Are you freaking ready for this? Coin? Get out of here, coin. You're not good. This table is gonna write an XML file. It's so awkward that I can't drag it, my gosh. But, yeah, let's write an XML file. Alright, path. Uh, let's just... What is this? Let's just save it... Right here. Slash important xml.xml. Alright, then, can we, uh, oh, none? Is there a plus button? I can't even see because the mic's blocking this. Uh, wow, I can't actually read that at all. What the heck? Oh, okay, you can't, um... You can't assign arrays unless they have- Okay, wait, wait, whoa, that's actually kind of a big limitation. So wait, wait, what I mean is, uh, if, if I were to go up here, and do this, and then go back here, I believe it will, uh... Wait, okay, it would, but it didn't, it didn't compile the... Why isn't it compiling that? That's really annoying. Um, build that. That's up to date? Um, wait, really? Wait, no. That's, that's, you can't not support arrays. Wait, is it really updating? And it's really updating, and it just, it doesn't support arrays. Okay, no thanks, that's bad. Um, wow, okay, but it does support list. So, okay, let's make a list, guys. We're going on a trip, and we're uploading to Blip. Like if you're hyped. I'm kidding. C-sharp rank. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Brad. Hey, ghost, how you doing? You're gonna go make a character where Brad is doing what he's doing. Alright, later, man. You're gonna watch, you're gonna watch you for good now. Uh, thank you. Wait, what is- what? No. No. Don't you do this to me. You- 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 
You have to support list. What do you mean none? <laughs> it, it's it, you are required by law exam code. No, I'm kidding, of course, but to support these freaking lists. Wait, so you you really support dictionaries but not lists? That that's ridiculous. If that's true. Oh my gosh. How how did that go by? How did that go by? Um, wow. Um, no, that's bad. I'm sorry. Uh, let me try something else, though. Maybe it just bugged out. List test. Uh, there's no way. Oh, yeah, it did bug out. What the heck? Wait, is it because it doesn't support integer? list let's see no it supports ints okay I don't know what happened um that's a bug right there that's not supposed to happen so it does support list and raise I'm sure I'm sure it supports a raise it just doesn't Oh, it's because- okay. So what's happening is if you don't assign anything to the variable, then it bugs the heck out. Weird. But only, like, in some cases. Like, if I change it back to this, I'm, it's probably gonna still say none. Maybe not. Yeah, it, it bugged out. Okay, wow. So those are actually broken. But lists are okay. So you can do this. Um, you can do this. And then, I'm guessing remake it and it should work fine. Yeah. So, okay, I found a bug. Nice. You can give, yeah, lol, no way. Yeah, they, uh, I'm glad that you can do a list. And I'm sure you can do a raise as well. Um, you just probably have to assign it. So, int, uh, int array equals like that. That should probably work. Yeah, it did, but um, it's not. Let it doesn't let you edit them yet, but it doesn't die at least. So okay, the problem is it comes from if you assign something to it. Weird. Uh, whatever. Uh, this is fine. As long as it supports list, we're okay. All right. Let's. Uh, I'm sorry. I really cannot see this. Is there another? Is this also add to it? Oh, okay. There's two add buttons. That's weird. Let's have seven options. Uh, guys, what should the numbers be? I know it's very important. Oh, frick, what am I doing? Hang on. Wait, did I actually do that correctly? Yeah, I did. Okay, never mind. We're fine. What should I, uh, what should I set these seven integers to? Does it, sorry, eight. Pi. Oh, okay. No big deal. Pi. No big deal. Oh, let's just get the short. Let's just get the short one. Oh, I can't. It's a. It's an int. <laughs> Four twenty. Nice, dude. Nice. Excellent. Um, fifty. Fifty three. <laughs> That's a good one. I didn't even think of that. GG. And then let's just do one, two, three. All right. Cool. Let's save that and let's try it out. Pi times 10, 69. Oh, Ghost is getting around that spam filter. Not spam, you know what I mean. Frick. I should just put that number on the blacklist. Let's see. There we go. It's always 10 seconds, like exactly. It's kind of amazing. All right, so it should have already like written, I guess? the XML file. Let's see what it did. Whatever. Yeah, wrote to. There it is. It printed it. Alright, let's see if it actually did. Yep. Aha, look at that. We can write XML files just fine. I mean, you could do that in Unity too, but I just was... Sometimes game engines have really weird file system limitations. So this one does not seem to have that. That's nice. One thing I... Okay, one thing I gotta know, though. This is, um closer this is actually related to the engine a little bit 
Um, uh, let's see. 69 in Unicode. <laughs> that would be... Uh, that would be easy. Excellent. No, excellent. Alright, Exenco, let's see. Get Startup Path. Is there a built-in thing for this? Um... Gosh, um, the Unleashed soundtrack is wonderful, but it's so, like, relaxing. It's like I'm just gonna, like, pass out from listening to this hub world. Jeez. Um... Entities versus game objects. Yeah, they're the same thing, basically. Yeah, you have to actually click add. That's- that's bad, I'm sorry. Um... I, I wish you could drag it on, um, but whatever. Not a, not too big of a deal. Um, let's see. Yeah, this stuff I already pretty much get. Oh, it actually supports um, 3DS and Blend. Really? I mean, okay, again, Unity is too, but I didn't expect that. That's nice. And of course, FBX. It's wonderful. I don't even think I've ever heard of this format. What the heck? Um, wow, lots of texture formats. Same with audio, jeez. Videos? Whoa, hang on. Hang on now. Uh, let's play around with this. Add a set. Uh, where's the video option? I didn't even see that before. Oh wait, sprites? Had it, no, okay. Um, oh, no, no, we're not adding one, we're trying to import one, right? So where's the, uh... How do you import in this set? I think it tells you right here, actually. Let's see. You drag it to ex Oh! Easy. Uh, you can also navigate to the desired file and specify the type of set you want to import. Really? When I click this, it just gives me a little- Oh! Wait, there's a button. Aha! That's nice! Okay, so you can either drag it in or do this. Let's go through these and find something, um... Oh, this is- okay, you know what? <laughs> let's- let's pretend we're Sega! Oh, this is obviously a joke. Whoa! That imported fast! How do you... yeah, how do you get it to play the video? Let's see, open a set file. Uh, yes. Oh, wow, it actually has its own format for it. Cool! open this first file too that's just gonna that's gonna stop the music so um you can't put it in as a root asset yeah of course you have to have like a video player or something so how do we if you want quality background music use this it's not a micro parody i promise <laughs> have have that as the test script a uh, test script nice unity takes blend yeah it does actually does it stream assets though um i i i heard it does uh, Rainbow Road? Like, actual Rainbow Road? Nope! Like, 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 remix version of Rainbow Road. Excellent. Um, <laughs> I might actually listen to that later. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't stream sets though, sorry, I was gonna answer that. Um, it does, actually. Uh, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, on their website, they just added it. It's like a really new feature. Um, Really new? Is that even proper? Whatever. It says it supports DirectX 12. That's nice. Um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find. Uh, I found this. There it is. Scene streaming. You can see on the bottom right. Uh, they actually have the scene there that's being streamed when the character's walking around. That's not bad. It looks very seamless, actually. Um, I gotta test that out and see how that works. Considering it's supposedly developer-centric, it might have a really nice API, too. If that's the case, I'm, I'm interested. Um, that would be something I would really like to have. Whoa, yeah, I know, it's actually kind of enticing. Uh, let's see, empty, ent yeah, empty entity. Alright, let's, can we add a video player? How do we play this? Background? That would be a texture, right? Yeah, you can't just, you can't do that. Actually, what is this that you do? 
Whoa. Uh, okay, cool. So it filters the my art. That's handy. <sighs> Let's see. Um... Oh yeah, lights. Whoa, we gotta test out lights. What am I doing? Like, that's that's something really... And rigid bodies, too. Like, what the heck am I doing? There's a lot of things I can actually try. Animations. Can you... Yeah, this is like, uh... This is like, um, model animations, right? Yeah. I'm gonna Google it, actually. Um, or I can just... Maybe it tells you here. Nah. Of course not. Exanko video. How do you play? Oh, I didn't mean an actual video, I meant- ah, oh, frick. Play video. Thanks anyway, Google. Wow, they have a answer thing on it. I'm actually surprised, I haven't Googled anything so far that I was really stumped on. So, interesting. It doesn't have a very big community, but they still have, like, answers, let's see. Okay, it's not possible out of the box, so this was in 2016. Um... And... It- you can import them. It, it says supported now, so I believe they added this later. Let's see. Use assets. Is there a... Uh, yeah, I get that, but... Alright, uh, let, let's search the manual. V video. You're almost at 1k subs. Yeah, um... Thank you for pointing that out, actually. I'm honestly still kind of shocked by that. <laughs> Why are Koreans so good at video games? Um, I don't know, Ghost. <laughs> I would say racist, but... No, it's true, they're just amazing video games. Uh, it's not... Oh, there it goes. Okay, that just took forever for some reason. Um... Okay, maybe you can't. That'd be disappointing. I mean, you could- why, why would they list it in supported formats if you're not able to do anything with it yet? Like, I mean, I guess it's still supported, but... Um... Huh, okay. I'm trying- I'm very curious if you can play videos in this. Create a derived ascent? Nah, I'm good. Just want to play it. I really wish you could just play a video. That would be very nice, indeed. Doesn't look like it yet. Which is a shame, but... Maybe you can only play the audio from the video? I don't know. I mean, it's worth something. There's nothing that supports, um, this so far. Very odd. Um, let me, let me, um, keep looking for that. I'm very curious. Um, uh, why do I have this page open so many times? Like, goodness. Um, alright, let's use this one. Zenko play video. Let's look for another one. Yeah, I don't, oh, whoa, what is this? Please, body threading? Yes. Oh, yes. Give me all of the things. Nice. That looks kind of smooth. I mean, visually, it could be better, definitely, but it's, a, it's just a test. Interesting. Um, let's see. Is this like a new version of Unity released this week or something? No, um, it's a different engine entirely that uh, has, is very new. Um, it's only been out for a, uh, well, okay, new for game engine terms. It's been out for about three years, I believe. Um, which really is not long for a game engine, even though it sounds like it is. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just curious to try things out with it, basically. <sighs> Let's see, it says, yeah, it says it's not possible at the moment. So that's disappointing. Do they have it on their roadmap? Oh, video to- oh, they just- I'm sorry. I mean, stupid. I'm just like, VIDEO CLICK! Uh... Everything looks awful with this plugin, but... Let me actually turn that off. Sorry if I'm blinding you at 3 a.m. <laughs> Apologies. Um... Let's see, I don't see 
any video support for Japanese language. Okay, I, I was gonna say, I'm like, you already have that in the option, so it's in progress. Okay. Input improvements. Oh, okay. Oh, so they are working on making that seem a little cleaner. Cool. Um, game student improvements, scene streaming. That's excellent. Uh, documentation, that's excellent as well. I mean, they're working on things. They're just, uh, taking their time. Not too bad. <sighs> okay, so I guess you can't play videos then. That's a little disappointing, but actually, it's... It's... Hmm. I'm a little confused, though, because... It's pulling in as a raw file. 118 bytes. Let's see. How big was the file that I imported? Oh, a lot bigger. So wait, is it actually importing the file? Alright. I'm not supposed to reverse engineer things. Now, I saw that in the license, but we're not reverse engineer, we are just poking at it. Don't worry. Oh, it literally is just a path. Okay, it's like, oh, oh, well, that's kind of... Okay. Alright, so it doesn't support it yet, that's a shame. Uh, let's try lights, though. I want to see how that works. Do they have colored point lights? Aha! Yes, please. Let's have... let's have green. Because why not? Can we have a shadow? We can have a shadow. Oh, okay, it's recompiling that. Yeah, you, you build those effects. Come on. It takes its sweet time, actually, to build effects, but... Man, it's taking a while. Alright, there. So if I actually move this... Oh, there we go! I see it. I see it! I'm sorry. Um, what if I try a hundred? Oh, man! Okay, so... Hmm. It doesn't seem to be lighting up the ground. Oh, there it goes! Okay. So the light's a little odd, but it doesn't look bad, actually. Um, if I put this on the table, how would that look? Oh, man. <laughs> Very, uh, unique. To say the least. A little blinding. That's because I turned up the intensity so much, though. I should have set the intensity to 9999 and just ruined everyone's eyesight for all eternity. I won't do that, don't worry. Um, size? Oh, you can set the size of the texture that it's using for the shadow. Okay. Oh, you gotta render him, right? Yeah, I think you have to actually render the... Sorry, not render, like, bake the GI. Oh, oh, right, right. They said real-time GI was on the to-do list. <laughs> oh, um, hmm. Okay, light probe? Let's see. Where did I put that at? That's nice. Cool, okay. So you can have light probes. That's handy. Uh, yes. Can we, we can have spotlights as well. Curious to see how this looks. Alright, so it's definitely... Def the line system is definitely not as good, in my opinion. Yeah, it could use some work. Um, it'll probably show up if I get it closer, though. Yeah, it does, but it's very... Uh, eh. That's not... that's not ideal. Oh, it, it's actually going to generate a shadow map, though. Really? Alright, let's see. Let's see if the shadow maps it generates are any good. Alright, please generate a nice shadow. I would really appreciate that. I'm sure there's a build light button somewhere, too. I'll stop this stream soon. I'm sorry for going on so long. I'm very curious about this engine. Um... Okay, can we compute all the light though? Yeah, we can. Doesn't seem to do anything though. Okay. What's this? Alright. I'm still poking around at things. Oh, okay, that's the local uh, global or view changing. Uh, sorry, like, I, I can't, I can't think right now. Like, uh, let's do transform it better. <laughs> basically 
that's, that's nice. Um, okay, so how would you tell it to render some GI? How do you cue that? Because it clearly has light maps. Light map support, but it doesn't seem to be drawing anything. At least I don't see it. Maybe if you actually build the game. I mean, part of that involves building light maps. Let's see. Or rather, shadow maps in this case. Because, like, naturally speaking, there should be a shadow underneath that sphere. New effects have been compiled. Okay. That might be the shadow. Yeah, there's- oh, uh, it's just stuck. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, okay, it's having a lot of, uh, like it's skipping a lot. Odd. Is that real time at all? Is it actually gonna, like, will the green actually disappear as it leaves? Yeah, it did. Alright, that's nice. There's no shuttle there, though, even though there's a spotlight. So that looks very unnatural. Um, no, I'm sure you can do this. There, There's a way. Let's see, what did it import just then? Because I, I don't even see a shadow map at the moment. Ground material, yeah. Hmm. Game settings. Oh, wow, there's a lot. Jeez. Uh, well, wow. Okay, you can actually set these... This is just like a list of strings. Jeez. Um, navigation settings. Oh my gosh. You can change like everything. Physics settings. Cool. Oh, you can change the texture quality. Alright, that's nice. Hey, cool. You can set that as well. And the animation frame rate. Oh, this is the default width and height. Alright. And you can set the direct X, uh, sorry, direct 3D version. Oh, okay. Cool, you can have that, you can set that as well. Alright, there's a lot you can actually set there. There's a compositor as well. Whoa. Um. Cool. <laughs> I appreciate this a lot. I've never been very good with compositing, being honest. But, that's very nice. This looks like, this looks like um, almost like the Blender uh, compositor. Great, now we're adding Blender to the list of things. What is it even adding, though? I, I like I, I see it in the list, but I don't see it anywhere on the. Oh, these are like stages of render. Okay, so then these are. Um. Okay. Oh, all right. I see. Okay. Cool. Can you tick these? Maybe. Oh wow! Look at all these settings. All right. I'm sure you can get some really nice looking effects if you try it. Kind of like Blender's Note Editor. Yeah, it really is, actually. Oh, wow, look at that. Let's, let's say Gaussian um, MSAA. Oh, let's, let's have two times. We can have light shafts, too? Yes, please. Ooh, man. Um, let's see, Shadow Map Render. Oh, here we go. All right, Shadow Map Caster. Um, there's only... Okay, where's that at? I don't see it in the sing. Maybe I'm being stupid. I don't, I don't quite understand how this is working yet. I'm sorry. That's very nice of them to give us a camera controller like that. It's been very helpful so far. Um, hmm. Taz raid. Wow, man, you're really spamming the chat. <laughs> the music sounds like Breath of the Wild. Oh, um, Unleashed soundtrack is just brilliant. All Sonic games have good soundtracks in my opinion. Well, most of them at least, but this one's just so good. Let's see. Opaque or transparent. Nice. Okay. So, alright. I'm... So this is just the forward render, yeah. Before we... Oh, this is from the editor. Oh, whoa, really? You can set individual rendering settings for the editor and for your game. Really? Hang on. 
Oh, let's change the clear color to red, just to see what it looks like. We should have a red sky, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, hmm. I don't know if you have to, like, recompile it or something. Oh, uh, frick, I forgot I said I would watch mo the most mature show My Little Pony. <laughs> Whatever, I have tomorrow. GG, Taz. You, you be you, I guess. Has Red actually done anything yet? I've done a lot, but I think at least. I'm just experimenting with things. I wasn't planning on making anything with it, I just wanted to see what the engine was like. I don't... Okay, so it turns out... Okay, light shafts, yes, please. I don't know how you actually get this to recompile. Like, what I mean is, um, how do you get this to show up in the editor now? Because I changed the clear color, but we still have, um, it hasn't updated yet. So, hmm. Um, I'm a little confused, honestly, as to how that works. Whatever, though, honestly, it's fine. Um, oh, you can have... Wow, look at this. Depth of field, really? Like, all this stuff is just built in. You don't need to have any um, other, like, scripts to do it. Like, in Unity. Let's see, let's see if that depth of, depth of the field activated. Oh, it did! Whoa, okay, there's way too much depth of field, but that looks cool. Alright, so if I start the game, I believe it won't have this because I only set it for the editor. I like how it's, it's not like a mature master clone, but it's just a table, a coin, and a ball. Great progress! Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> it's not like a mature master just coming along swimmingly. I can't, wait, I can't wait to remaster the final boss, the fight against Perfect Chair. It's gonna be the best. Is it really taking this long to build? Yeah, it is. All right. Nice. It shouldn't have depth of field, um, if I understand correctly. If not, though, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm not gonna complain that it has something extra. Let's see. Oh, oh, geez. Wait, why did it open a console window this time? When it didn't before? Huh. Oh no, it does have depth of field. Okay. Oh, what the? That depth of field is way too strong. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, guys, I I call this um. Oh wait, wait, it, it it becomes clear when you're far away. Oh, that's kind of hilarious. Guys, I call this, um... Oh gosh, I can never remember. Isn't it, uh... Uh... Like... <laughs> farsighted? I call this Farsighted Simulator. You can... You see, when you get close to things, they become blurry. You have bad eyesight. Alright, but still, that's cool. There's not the field built in. You can tweak it, too, I'm sure. Um, I'm stupid, so I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, I'm sure you can make that look nice. Uh, I'm, I've always been terrible with, like, settings like these. <laughs> I just click buttons. Oh, man. Get a load of this! Throws a spoon. Excellent. How long have you been streaming for? Like, two hours. You, fish you figured out rigid bodies. Yay, I haven't tried those yet. Have you, have you gotten uh, shadow maps to work? Because I'm, I haven't gotten, uh, sh this shadow, um, like the spotlight is pointing this way, but there's no shadow here. There should be. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It says it's casting one. So I honestly have no idea what is this, PCF? Is that why? Is it because I had no filters on it? No, that should have worked. Yeah, that, it's not because of that. Ah, uh, maybe. Let's just let it go. Um, while it's doing that, uh, particle system. Ooh, nice! Alright, we have to try that out too, but probably not on this stream, because I do need to end soon so I don't just pour the heck out of everyone. Um, I wonder if... Oh, oops. Um, you know what? Let's just try something. Uh, let's make 
a basic cube. Or rather, you know what, hang on, is this... Oh, it came with a sphere model. Uh, right. Let's see. It did come with a box. Oh, yay. What's in the box? Let me show you. Alright. We... Oh, can, can you save, uh... Okay, yeah, that does save that. Alright. Let's pull up a box. There we go. Look at that. That looks excellent. So, okay, there are shadows, but... They seem like they're real-time, but then they're not- it's really weird. I have to get- I have to- hmm, I'm not sure what's going on with that. What- what is the- what are the checkboxes for? Huh. Um... Oh, it's still building, so I didn't see anything because of that. Okay. Oh, you can tell it's a cast shadows. Nice. Alright, let's give it a rigid body. Hyper table! Yeah, it's just- it's- it, it, it's becoming more powerful than ever before. I'm sorry if that was loud. <laughs> I keep doing things. Um, alright. Can collide with anything? Oh, nice. Alright. Can sleep? No, you can't sleep. You have to be awake. Brad, what are your opinions on Destiny 2 coming onto the Blizzard launcher? Everything should be Steam. <laughs> That's my opinion. That's the entire opinion. You're welcome. Do you have to add, like, a box? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Wait, is, please tell me there's a mesh option. It looks like there is. That's the entire opinion. Screw you, Rat. <laughs> I well, I mean, I'm kind of joking, but I I real I honestly really hate downloading like other services for it because for things because um I don't know like it just seems like there's no reason. Okay, like um when EA came out with Origin, they were like, ah, oh, it's gonna be the best thing ever. It's like, they didn't just start releasing new games in Origin. They made it so that all of their old games, like, like they actually pulled some games from Steam so that you could only get them on Origin, and it just felt really like a, like they just wanted to make more money, right? Because, like, why else would they make Origin? I don't know. You've been beamed. You got Shadow Maps? Nice. I'm not able to get it from the spotlight here. It's just casting against the sphere, and then there's no shadow in this in this area where there, there totally should be. I recently didn't like it, but now you love the Blizzard, the Blizzard Launcher. Well, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. I was kind of joking. Maybe it's really good. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so, uh, how can you preview, um, the box? Let's see. I don't, I don't see any way to, uh, maybe you can enable it. Physics. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so that's, that's a preview of the box. Cool. So if I put this up here, like that, and have it fall, will I actually see the box falling? That's the question. Let me move this over here, too. Would that be, like, whatever, it's close enough. Ooh, I forgot about that one. Alright, let's test that. Um, yeah, also, uh, there's one thing I, I'm not liking, but I honestly don't know what else they could have done about this. Um, you can't, like, actually pause the game and go through it frame by frame like you can in Unity. That's a really nice feature of Unity, so... Sorry if that audio is too loud, by the way. Um, it might actually be. Alright, that, that took a while to load, but... And then it's quiet. Great. Alright, let's see. Where's the box? Oh, I see- the game is lagging, but I see the shadow of it. Oh my gosh, it's really lagging. What in the world is happening? There it goes. Oh, right through the floor. Well, uh, I have to add something to the floor, but we can get that working. Also, I like how it's resaving this XML file every time I open it. That's kind of beautiful. Um... Let's add, let's add some collision. So let's make this, uh, kinematic, I believe is how it's pronounced. I've always, I've never known. <laughs> I'm really stupid, I know. No gravity. Um, it's gonna be... Infinite playing. It goes on forever. 
Can we have physics on? Yeah, I can't preview that one for some reason. Um. Wait, uh, one of you want it like this? Uh, I'm gonna assume that's correct, even though I'm sure it's not. No, no, let's not have an infinite play. Instead, let's assume they're cube. That'll be fine. Um, wow, it's not letting me- oh, there it is! I'm being stupid, I'm sorry. Uh, no height. It's- it's got no height. It's got no- it's got no spline. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, well, come on. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Let's see if the box falls now. Add weed! <laughs> you little frick. Um... He had the floor a static collider. Oh, thanks. I may have... I may have not made it static just then. No, it should be fine. Oh, I need to put it in the... Oh, it's in a different filter. Uh... Oh, that worked fine, though. That looked really weird. Did, it, did that box just clip through the ground a little bit? And the game is really laggy. Um, hmm. Oh, it actually stopped responding. Okay. Not... Oh, dear. Look at that. Look at those physics. I'm not moving the camera. That box is just on, sliding around on its own. Um... This is because I, uh, didn't, um... Make it static, though, I believe. I hope. Um, yeah, static filter. And let's see, friction. <sighs> I'm always so stupid that I can never remember if it's okay. If it's zero friction, does that mean that the object will um, slide on it or will not slide on it? I can never remember. Um, ugh, gosh, I'm, I know I'm stupid. I'm sorry. This song is great. Let's try this. Static Collider is a component of its own. Oh, there's a- Oh, there's a custom component just for this. That's a little odd. Okay, well thank you for telling me that. I'll try that as well. Yeah, yeah, that's really- Those physics are really bad if, um, that's how it collides. But yeah, let me see. You're right. I'm sorry. Thank you. I didn't know that. Do you have to have a set of collider too, or just the stuff? Actually, I think you can just have just that. Ooh, hang on. Gosh, this song is so good. <laughs> like seriously, my gosh, this OST is something wonderful. All right. Um, the build time between every time you test it is not. Not my favorite thing. Also, I'm getting I'm getting a warning over here. Whoa. Uh I didn't even do that. So a shader that it's generating is not quite right. Oh, that was much better. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah, so what was happening was it was treating this like a uh, cube that's uh what was that that just what is that that's flashing on the screen when I'm moving? What is that? You guys you guys seeing that? Hang on, it's not happening now, but I'm trying to get it to happen again. There was like a, a black X that flashed on the screen. I, I didn't notice if it, if it happened in OBS or not. Oh, there it is. Did you see that? I can't get it to happen again, I don't think. Oh, there. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't tell what is happening. Um, it seems to... Oh, there it is. I saw it. It is on OBS. Why is that happening? Um... Ah, uh, that's bad. What is- is that like screen tearing? What is that? Ew. That looks quite bad. Um... Yikes. I, uh... It happened on the stream. Yeah, thank you. Um... Yeah, I, uh... I hope that doesn't happen in release builds. I hope it's something I did. Because if the engine just bugs out like that right now and then, that's... no, nope, that's bad. Um... Those physics are much nicer than it initially appeared, though, so that's good. Um, let's try something a little more complicated. Let's make a bunch of boxes. 
There's a little bit of lag when I'm um, duplicating these, which is not ideal, but... Let's make a pyramid of boxes in the sky, and then watch what happens when they all fall down. I'll wait for, for excellent, for the most fun. Let's do this. Nice. Alright, let's try that out. Hey, Augie, how you doing? Let's see how these physics work. Wonder if they're any good. They're probably- the boxes are probably gonna clip inside each other a little bit, but let's see what happens. Oh! No, that was good! That was about the same quality as Unity physics. I'm kind of impressed. Look at that! They actually fell kind of realistically. And that coin is still moving. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot- I forgot I told it to do that. Okay, those black X's are terrible. What is causing that? Why are those flashing on the screen? If I could just get rid of those... This isn't bad. I didn't notice them until now either, so maybe I'm noticing there's, you know, these warnings. It's probably something related to that. Maybe not. Um, I don't- I didn't do anything that I'm aware of at least to cause that though. Why is it telling me I have to save this? Like, there's an asteroid that's the output. Um, I don't get it. Sorry. Can you- you can make folders and- Whoa! Cool! You can actually do this? Box test. Oh, that's great! Okay, I really like that. Hang on. Hold Alt to maintain world position. Oh. Okay. You can make child objects too, I'm sure. Um, though I haven't tried it yet. Cool. You, so wait, you can organize things really nicely! Hang on. Like, um... Like, you can do this. Yeah! Oh my gosh, look at that. Unity, Unity does not have that. You have to make an empty object, and then there have ch children of the object, and then, you know, if you move the parent object, all the children move. So it's kind of not as clean. That is a really nice feature. Like, it's so simple, but it's so handy. Um, let's, let's move some of these things. Oh, uh, I'm not using that. Gosh, this OST is good. Look at that! I've organized my scene. Wow. Folders, yeah, I know, I really love that. <laughs> Remember Sonic Adventure Master to go? Oh yeah, that was, that was great. We'll, we'll charge for every box that falls. That'd be the best. So we have a generated an XML file, if I can get that again. Whoops. That XML file. Uh, we have it, um... Drawing some nice different shader effects. Oh, wait, wait, the black X is happening in the editor now, too. Do you guys see that? Yeah, there it is. It only appears every now and then, but... Oh, wow, okay. That is definitely a bug. Yeah, well, wait, I can get it to stay around, I think, if I move slowly. If I can just stop moving when it happens, it will stay. But I don't think I'm going to get it to happen now, because it's just my luck. I mean, I know you guys are seeing that, but I want to freeze on it so you can really, like, study it. It seems to happen when- okay. When I, that, wait, I almost got it. Oh, come on, please. Oh my gosh, come on. I really want to freeze frame on that. Whatever, y you're seeing it. Um... That's bad. Uh, I'm thinking if I restart the editor... You know what, let me do that real quick. I'm thinking that might actually fix that. Um, never happened for you. Yeah, I, di I didn't notice it until just now. So I don't think it was happening the whole stream either. I think it just started for some reason. Maybe some bug relating to um, like running out of graphics card memory or something? Very odd, whatever it is. Also, why did that... That took a while to open that, actually. Maybe it's, um, something related to it's, uh, like the way it does standard sets. Alright, let's let it- oh, it has to rebuild the effects when I- I didn't do anything but reopen it. Oh, and it also didn't save this. Oh, no thanks. Um, that's not good. I would rather, um, have it save that every time. If possible. Okay, once all the sets are built, please reload them. Jeez. Okay, so do I have to do this every time? Hmm. 
maybe there I noticed there's something it's a, like saving your state or something maybe you have to do that like not just saving the scene like maybe you have to save the state of the program or something let's see um, if this fixed the X maybe not it probably not actually but let's see I'm, inter I'm interested to see what happens I don't really get um why it has to rebuild effects so often it's a little annoying, being honest. Yeah, new effect. New effects have been compiled. Ugh. Do I have to keep doing that, really? Okay. Oh nope, there we go. It's even worse, almost. Like arguably. Why is it doing that? Up oh, and it's freezing now too. Yeah, it's not very solid. That not responding again. Oh, I didn't. I'm not holding S. Okay. Because it froze when I was holding S. It thought I was still holding it when I let go. So, okay, it seems to be a little buggy, to say the least. Um, so I don't like that, but that's to be expected considering it's a new engine. Why do I have to keep re-importing these effects manually? Why can't it just do that for me? It's a little annoying. Um, is there maybe an option to have it do that for me? Somewhere? Let's see. External tools, interface, remote. Nah. That's cool though. I need to try that stuff out. Can I actually deploy on, on another machine? I think I can. I I'm gonna try I'm gonna have to try that off camera. It's like off stream. That's a that's a good feature if that works. Um yeah, there's no option to reload it for me. You're impressed by the physics? I am too, actually. At first I was a little turned off by the fact that it looked like the box was clipping. But once I found- well, once you told me, actually, that uh, you, you have to use a static collider. Um, those look nice. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that, that, that impressed me a little more than I thought. Because I don't- is this running on, like, physics or anything? Um, Exenco physics engine. I believe it's their own engine. Let's see, oh, I should have clicked on that one. Let's see. No, they made their own physics engine. Oh, it's, no, it's Bullet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Bullet. It looked like they did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's based on Bullet. Okay, well, cool. That's fine. Bullet's a pretty good physics engine, actually. Uh, Blender, the Blender game engine uses this, too. I believe Unity uses PhysX, um, spelled like that. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That's interesting. Um, I gotta try uh, mesh stuff though. So yeah, let, let's actually do that. Um, let's import something big and let's try and just break it, right? Let's see what happens. So let's, uh, oh dear, um, what should I import? Do I have any color stuff on me? Uh, I think I do. I have a couple models from colors, but, but let's just import this. Uh, whoa. Um, you can also import materials and- okay, so you can't just import- Okay, you can't import all of them? Oh, you can! Uh, okay. Odd. Don't use a skeleton, I guess. Oh, jeez. Um, what happened? Uh, an error occurred while generating the template. No reference exception. Okay. So, this is a bug. With Exenko's editor. Good job. Uh, wow, alright, that didn't work <laughs> in the slightest. Um, let's try another model, maybe that one? Probably not that one, because it's from the same, like, yeah. Alright, let's try and import something from another, maybe even a game. It's, their model importer doesn't seem to be very good so far. Let's just try a spring model, right? Simple spring. Yeah. Oh, that worked. Okay, where's the spring at? That was actually quite fast. There it is. All right. That's, oh, that's a material. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm being stupid. Uh, where is the model at? There it is. Ooh, let's see how this looks. 
It's giant, but let's see. Not bad. Uh, I don't know why um, it keeps flashing like that. I'm really sorry about that. That's really annoying. I hope that that's something that I can fix, or maybe that they're aware of and that they will fix. Is energy conservative? What? what? Like, you mean computer energy, or do you mean, like... I don't know what they mean. Uh, it looks a little off. I'm not gonna lie, but... And why does it have to keep recompiling when I'm just moving the camera? That's really annoying. Uh, let's try... Okay, Diffuse Model Lambert. Can you... Oh, you can do cell shading. That's... You guys want to simulate Lost World? I'm sorry, I, I had to. I wouldn't be, like, a human being if I didn't make that joke. Um... Oh, I thought there was a speculator map in colors. Uh, there actually isn't. Oops. Fresnel. Hey, that's nice. Implicit. Oh, wow. There's a lot of, uh, options for changing your, uh... Ooh, call mode. Nice, there's backface calling. Play the mission failed theme for Unleashed. That would be, uh... That, that would be excellent if I run into something that really messes up. <laughs> like if there's something I really don't like about the engine. Gosh, I love this song. I'm sorry. I, I'm just dying inside. No big deal. Um, intensity. Okay, I said I wouldn't, but... Oh, okay. I'm, I'm disappointed now. Alright, um, let's see. Don't tell me it's gonna recomp out when I just move the spring. Yeah, okay, nice. Thank you for not doing that. Um, well, it looks alright, but I'd like to get it to look, um, like, uh, like metallic. Oh, hang on, surface. Yeah, you can give it a normal map. You can give it a displacement map, then you can have tessellation, that's nice. Glossiness map. Oh, alright. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I feel like if I understood shaders better, I would know what I'm doing here. Oh, okay, that's a little closer to what I'm looking for. Um... Fall back, you can only have it on one channel. Alright, you can choose the texture coordinate. At first, you thought it said, Exenco Impressions.Sin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 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 just a sin for um, existing. That tends to be the case with me, with my life. Anyway, um, let's see. Are there any materials? Ooh, they did make some materials for us. That's nice. Gold. Ooh, okay. That might look good. Oh, iron. Let's try this. Um, gloss. Let's see, does that make it look more metallic? Maybe too metallic. Maybe just bad. Eh. It's recompiling again. Are you kidding me? Alright, not liking all the recompiling and the material stuff. I'm sure there's a lot of tweaking you can do, but, um... So I'm sure you can get things to look nice if you want them to. Uh, sorry, what, what was I saying? If you really put the effort into it, you can get them to look nice, but... Um, right off the bat... Unity does look a lot better, um, for a lot of things. Um, hmm, I would really like if I could get it to, uh, to reflect a little bit. It does look kind of off, to me at least. Uh, you know what, maybe I can tweak the directional light settings as well. Okay. Partition mode? Whoa. Gosh. There's a lot you can tweak here. This kind of reminds me of Unreal Engine 4, actually. Um, I mean, like, visually. Which is not a downside, I'm just saying. Um, Alright, let's have no skeleton and just import this. Alright, cool. It imported that successfully. Uh, oh. That's not what I'm trying to add, though. I'm just trying to add the model. And that is tiny for some reason. Okay, scaling's odd. Ooh, that's off. Um, hang on, I'm sorry. That, that's my fault, though. Yeah, alright. There's a dash panel, so... Let's see. How does the shading look on that? Eh. eh it's alright. Um, could be a lot better, though. 
Is there a speculator map for this? No, there's not. I guess Warren Colors had speculator maps for some of these. Oh, okay, nice. You can edit the individual materials, so that's that's good. Some some uh, like tools don't even support that. Uh, which one is it? Is it this? Oh, it, that's not recompiling. It's just letting me know what. Oh, it's just telling me what I've selected. I mean, stupid. I'm sorry. Bounce pad. Bounce pad. Yes. Uh, your dream has come true. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice. So Jean says Unity uses a super old version of physics. Yeah. Um. It, it really does. They tried to update it recently, though. I don't know if they were where that went. Let's try cell shading. Let's see how that looks. It's take, it takes a while to build. Eh? Yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not usually a fan of cell shading anyway, but I was hoping maybe that would look nice. Um, let's see. There's a lot of options here, though. Hmm. There's only one option for a specular model, though. Well, other than, well, okay, there is cell shading, but... Yeah, it would probably look a lot better if I could give it a specular map. Rather than just a color. Um, but as it is, it looks kind of off. Um, so that's a little disappointing. Not the end of the world, though. Surface. I, 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 I keep thinking there's going to be, like, preset iron things. Um... They showed some images on their website of uh, what you can get it to look like, and they looked quite nice. Um, so I'm a little... I was actually thinking I was just gonna really just fall in love with the way it looks. So I'm a little surprised, actually. Um, if you actually look at the features list, they have some images here that like, like this one. Like, look at that! That looks fantastic. Um, so it's probably just because I'm not... Like what I'm, like like I how I said before, you can get it to look great if you know what you're doing, but by default, it it doesn't. Um, it isn't as good looking as Unity or Unreal Four. Um, they have an occlusion map too. I'm noticing they have a lot of things on this. Ah, yeah. So you have to um, put in the effort, which that's fine. I'm just terrible at it. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see, occlusion, let's, um, let's just add this, just cause, why not? I'm always very bad at, at shaders. Actually, you can actually, hmm, interesting. Okay, so you can change all of this stuff. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can get it to look nice if you want. That doesn't look too bad. What about this? What are they doing for that material? Because that's shiny. Oh, they just have a glossiness map with a float value. Interesting. Wait, metalness map? Wait, what? Hang on, I c <laughs> Perfect, perfectly fitting music, by the way. I couldn't, um... Oh, what? How did I, how did I not notice that? Oh, are you kidding me? And then wait, do they just have a float after that? How did I not see that the entire time when I was looking for metallic settings? They just have it as a float. Gosh, I love this song too. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay, hang on. All right, I'm really stupid. I didn't even see it. So yeah, it takes some doing, but you can make it look good. Let's try, uh, let's just say one, honestly. Look at that. That looks a lot better. It's not too bright anymore. Can I make it as glossy though? Let's see, microsurface, glossing this map, and let's set it to a float. And then have it as like, let's, let's set it at one at first and see what happens. These little forum looks so close to the indie forum. Yeah, I know, it looks crazy um, similar. It also really reminds me of the model game forums. Um, let me show you what those look like. And I don't know if you've been there before. Look at these. <laughs> it's like identical to the model game forms. It's ridiculous. Um, like, look at this. Model game. Exenko. Do you see a similar... Um, I, I believe it's because it's based on the same um, forum technology. So I don't think it's just that they like stole it. I think it's that... 
Oh, nice. There we go. That's that's more like a unity like metal effect. Okay, that looks good. I like that. Um. Ooh, let's try 0.5. Okay, so you can get it to look good if you play with it. It just by default. Yeah, again, it takes some doing. Uh, that's not bad. That looks pretty nice, I think. Let's try that with the spring. Oh, wait, I got it on the, uh, on a frame like this. Look at that. What, what is it? Is that the light that it's trying to draw? Like, what is causing that? That's bizarre. I, if we, if I can get that fixed though, the rest is honestly like, I can't speak, but the rest is honestly like, um, fine. All right, let's say one. That looks a little odd, but not bad. And then let's set this to a metallic map with a float. Let's say one. Hmm. Gosh, it really takes a long time to rebuild the effects. And it has to do it every time you change anything. So I, I, I really don't like that. I'm sorry. Eh. Um, not that, that's for sure. Two maybe? Eh, looks a little better. Oh, more recompiling. Let's try 0 0.8. Ever hate a game but have to play it? Uh, all the ones you gifted me! I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, nah, actually, I don't think... Uh, oh, well, um, some Sonic games, actually. <laughs> um, uh, like, uh, well, frickin' Secret Rings, but... Anyway, um, I can't quite get that to look right for some reason. It's like cutting off here. But other than that, it looks all right. Um, yeah. So visually, it's all right. Uh, you can get it to look really nice if you try. I'm sure. Especially if you have knowledge of writing custom shaders, uh, you can make this look gorgeous. So yeah. Uh, visually, yeah, it's fine. It's not really a big of a problem. Um, hmm, so then here's the other question. Okay, so how do you make collisions? And after this, I'm gonna stop. I want us to see how it's done. I'm not even gonna try it, I don't think. Um, collision event. Let's see. How to take a collision. Yeah, let's see. Uh... We like documentation, the best is to check samples. <sighs> okay. Let's see. It waits until collisions come in. And then it does something, and then it waits for the collision to exit. Eh. Um, is that the case still? Yeah, it's deprecated. Have they actually... Oh, dear. Um... Let's try this. Let's see if I can figure out how, how it's done. Let's see, create a bouncing ball. Grip the trigger, I read spot a trigger for some reason. Um, let's see, triggers, yeah, let's do that. Create a collider in the property grid under the character component property, select is trigger, simple enough. Then, all right, here's how you do in the code. Eh, yeah, that's... Hmm. Or you can use a tr the tracking hash set. Oh, okay. That's better. Do you have to do this every, um... Every frame, though? Yeah. I believe we do. Eh? That could definitely be better. But I'm not doing many physics things, so this is okay for me. I'm just scrolling through this quickly. I'm sorry for not stopping and reading it slowly. I just want a general idea of how to do it. I get all this. Okay, yeah, you... Alright, so this is the trigger. Oh, alright. It falls to the trigger, but nothing happens, right? Let's write a script to change the size of the ball when it enters the trigger, so they make an async script. Okay, so you have to have an async to do collision checking? Really? I mean, you don't have to, but... Eh. 
Oh, okay, they're making it bigger when it hits it. That makes sense. What, they're, they're changing materials? That's cool. Alright, so it's not difficult, it doesn't look like, but it does look a little impractical, so that could use some work. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to end it here, because I've been streaming for a while already. Um, I'm terribly sorry for probably boring all of you with that. Um, hopefully it was at least a little bit fun to watch. But, yeah, I, I don't usually do streams like that. Um, usually I, you know, try and, uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> usually I'm either playing games or I'm working on something specific. I'm not usually just clicking on buttons and testing stuff out and seeing what happens. Um, so that was kind of fun for me at least. Uh, hopefully it was at least a little bit interesting. Apologies again if it was boring. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, honestly, uh, why it's flashing like that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little tired. Um, but other than that, um, or, or yeah, like things about generating shadow maps and all that, but it actually seems to be pretty promising, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, considering this is an engine that, you know, is not nearly the... I mean, like, like, doesn't nearly have the same giant scope, you know, as many users or anything, as something a giant like, you know, Unity or Under Engine 4 or whatever. It's, it's, it's relatively small in comparison, and it's only been around for a couple years. That's pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you could make some very, some genuinely good games with this, if you really put your mind to it. And there haven't been many people who have done that yet, but there have been a couple. Um, I saw some projects people had made, they had posted about in their forums, as well as um, a game that a guy actually released using a beta version of this. I'm really sorry. <laughs> on Steam called Children of the Galaxy, which doesn't look like my kind of uh, gameplay style to be honest, but visually it's quite impressive and you can tell he put a lot of effort into all the programming for this. So yeah, my point is um, the engine seems very sound actually. Um, it's got a little, there's definitely some you know kinks that need to be worked out. There's definitely some things that um, need some improving, but they're well aware of a lot of them, and yeah, I'm sure in a couple years this is going to be a very nice engine. Um, now here's the question. Do you think it'll take off? Uh, do you think people will actually use it instead of Unity or Unreal Engine 4, or do you think it's going to be like it is now where hardly anyone freaking knows about it? Like, to the point where I, like, you know, someone who's basically obsessed with C-Sharp and has been looking for a game engine like this for years, only found it today. You know, like, because of... So, some a co Someone made a comment about it, I believe. And I was like, Exenko, what's that? And I checked it out. Um, it's a nice engine. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll summarize it with that. It's a very nice engine. Um, but it does need a lot of work. Um, if they can work out the bugs, get the compile time to be a lot quicker. Um, and uh, what else? I guess... Give it some better default shaders so make it so that by default when you drag something in it looks on par with you know unity arm engine 4 without you having to do too much tweaking to get it to look that way because you can right but you know by default it should look nicer um it'll work um it's pretty nice um again i'm not gonna lie uh but there is one thing actually i just now realized um that I'm unsure of. Uh, <laughs> there is no splash screen at the startup of this, even when I ran the EXE, which is the only real limitation of the free version that, you know, um, would maybe you want to get the pro version. So that's confusing. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure why that is. Um, I believe it's because they have a promotion going on right now where you can get pro for free for a certain amount of time. So maybe it just Maybe it just gave me that. I'm a little confused about that, honestly, but, um... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is pretty promising. I hope it goes somewhere. You know, I hope it works out for them. Um, because you can tell they're, um... Uh, Silicon Studios, I believe. Um... Yeah, Silicon Studio. They're definitely working on this. You know, they're definitely putting in effort into it. It's not just like they're sopping things together and it's done. Because, um... 
you know, like, I, I, this is a free engine that's actually open source and um, entire, written entirely in C-sharp, and it's comparing with these... Um, we're not free, but there's a free version of it, at least. Um, sorry. It's competing with highly commercial engines that have been around for years pretty nicely, actually. Um, again, it needs some work. Uh, it's not perfect, but... Yeah, uh, in a couple years, I could see myself using this instead of Unity. So... Not bad, guys. Not bad. Um, might be worth checking out if you're looking for an engine that, um, similar to Unity, but with a much more developer-focused, um, uh, like, mindset, right? Like, the point is more of, like, you, you write code, um, and we'll help you, than, you know, more like do-it-yourself, than something like Unity where it's like, uh, you can write code, but you know, we're going to actually limit you on what you can do with that. We want you to use our, you know, animation editor and everything. So, yeah, actually, I haven't tried that stuff out yet. Might be too early to say that. Maybe um, I'm not able to fully customize animation stuff. We'll have to see. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to edit out that it looks pretty promising. So if anyone from Silicon Studio um, is watching this, <laughs> either now or at some point in the future, Good job, guys. Um, but keep it up, right? Don't, don't, don't just stop now. Uh, you know, you got some, you got some more work to do. But if you keep at it, you know, you, you can get something that's really nice. Anyway, all right. So everyone's asking when the next stream is. Um, it'll either be tomorrow or next week. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna guarantee anything yet because I'm actually not sure. Uh, there's some, there's an event that, it, a personal thing that, um. I have planned for tomorrow, but then I'm not sure if it'll actually happen or not. Um, if it does, I'm not able to stream. If it doesn't, then um, will uh, then then I will. But yeah, we'll see. Um, <laughs> uh, you'll you'll know because I'll tweet about it around you know 6 p.m. CDT because that's usually around the time I stream. So yeah, uh, if I do, I'll probably stream more SADX um, unless you guys really all want something else. Um, I know Overwatch has a free weekend, and people have been asking me to play that like crazy, so... Well, yeah, um... I mean, of course I'm gonna be playing that. <laughs> but, uh, that's not until next week. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, thank you all for watching that. Hopefully that was somewhat enjoyable. Um... Don't know what else to say! <laughs> It's a, it's like it was a pretty promising engine. Maybe give it a shot. Um, just keep in mind if you do download it, um, it's it's not finished yet, right? It's still a work in progress, and um, it's developer centric. It's very do it yourself. So it does help you with a lot of things, but it's designed around the idea of you coding um, stuff, right? And so that's why. Um, that's why it probably seemed like I was fumbling around doing nothing for the whole time because um, I, you know, I, I need to get used to the API and stuff before I can actually take advantage of that. Um, I'm assuming the API is good, but I saw of it looked kind of nice, but um, don't know about that yet. I, I have to. That's going to take me a lot of, you know, fumbling around and just trying to do stuff to figure that out, right? Um, anyway, Rad, I really think you have a blast with Overwatch. Uh, I hope so. Um, everyone keeps asking me to play it, and I'm excited to. Um, but admittedly, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm freaking terrible at first-person shooters. Like you, you have no idea how bad I am at them. It's, it's, it's so ridiculous. Um, that, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I guess I, 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 I don't, I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I can't speak. <laughs> I don't know what the right word would be. Um. I guess it's not that I'm nervous, it's that I'm more like, I just feel like, oh dang it, I'm gonna play it and then everyone's gonna go, wow, Rad, you're terrible, and they're right. <laughs> you know, so, um, Rad, not every character uses a gun. Uh, that's that's true, that's true. Um, I've heard that. Uh, it uses aim assist. That will help me a lot. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I, they, I was gonna say, actually, thank you. Um... It's not on PC. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Let's save that for the Overwatch stream. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. My outro tend to go on forever. I, I keep laughing. 
but yeah, hopefully it was something enjoyable. Um, do try out Exenco if you're looking for something uh, developer centric. But keep in mind, it's not quite as polished as Unity or Unreal Engine Four yet. And um, if you're looking for something more designer based, it's very do it yourself. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, hope you all enjoyed that, and see you all next time, I guess. Bye.